Welcome, team. Let's bring out Spencer Crittenden, shall we? Harmontown is now in session. Let's also bring out Brandon Johnson. Brandon Johnson's here, too. And just for good measure at Harmontown, let's bring out the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. Yep. Rocking to the beat, going downstairs. Saw your mama, said, hey, okay. I got I got excited, but then I I, I got and then I got just something happened. I don't know. I got I terrified. I didn't want to rap all of a sudden, like really fast. Like I went from wanting to rap really bad to not wanting to rap really Be, fast. Because you didn't feel the flow, or you or, yeah. Or, I think the flow got a little clogged, and then I and then I just panicked. How like do we I, how do we unclog that flow? Like I mean, I'm, I'm being for real right now. A like, hot like, towel. Is, is there a, is there a flow? A hot towel? Yeah. Uh, welcome back, Spencer. Thanks, man. Yeah. Spencer oh, yeah. is back. Oh, I got a couch. I see you've uh, accepted my demands yeah. for one couch and one pointed, polished pyramid. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We we typically don't air our contract renegotiations here at Harmontown. <laughs> You know the grievances and what we, we keep a, we keep a line there. Mm -hmm. Everything else is transparency and stuff, but uh, th right. it is rough. His, his contract was up, you know, right. and it was like I should have never signed you to a one plus one. Like, yeah, and uh, it, it was weird because like I wanted to agree, but like the Spencer's Guild was like no. <laughs> He's got his own guild. At the authorized to strike. How how are the uh, Spencer's Guild uh, uh, and uh, Producer Guild um, uh, negotiations going? It's are hard to tell who's talking about anything, right? Like what stance anyone's taking? Because you're also a producer. Well, it's, yeah, I yeah. mean, so I, you're on both sides of the table. I'm on both sides of the table, and like it's hard. Yeah, exactly. So it's always in my own benefit. Uh, How's Harmon Quest? Oh, it's so good. I know. I don't know. Sometimes I'm getting real mad, and then I'm like, ah, this is bad. It's the best job in the world. <laughs> it's like you should be getting mad. What are you getting mad at? Just like at the boards, all these boards. I'm like, ah. Oh, oh just like things that need a job. Ah. Yeah. yeah. It's just, yeah. But it's so fun. Holy shit. I mean, you talked about it in the last episode. I heard. I was like, hell yeah. He's yeah. lying about the show. Yeah. And, you know, Co Cody, like, not only has never seen it before, but she's watching an animatic. She's watching a thing with her fiance's ex-wife in it. Not that right. she has any; she she doesn't have any pettiness there. But I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of English on that ball. She's not predisposed to like it. But she was like, and she's never seen the first season. So right. All, all of these things, she was like, oh my god, that's so like great. She was like really into it. Like yeah. she's like, I understood all the jokes. I don't care about no D and D, but it was like, and was like, like, like like Aaron's really funny and everything's like working really good and. Yeah, it's just, I, the only the only the only thing is I I just like I'm not gonna like <sighs> obsess over it, but like yeah. I just I can't believe the uh, lethargy on my face. Like in the beginning, uh -huh. it's like crazy. The first season, I guess, because we're like, oh, how do we do it? Mm -hmm. And then I so then we did like a bunch of takes where I was like, John Oliver, ah, oh, time request, ah. You know, like, yeah. which you do need to do because the camera takes away 10 pounds of energy. So this time around, like, <laughs> which energy is really light in the first place. I just remember being like, oh, I'm, I'm real chill. Or it's like, let's just harm and quest. It's like, let's, let's just, just have some fun. And I'm watching. I'm like, am I blind? I look like I'm blind. <laughs> That's I, true. I, yeah. I, you're not like looking. You're like you, not you looking at any the, single thing. And it's really off putting. So here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, like, it is. Yeah, everyone hated it. <sighs> like, 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 <laughs> no, I, no, I just, I wish, I wish somebody would have hit me with a stick and said, we're doing another take. You gotta, but here's the thing about those cameras. Like, it, it's one thing to, uh, you know, if you have stage fright versus like, oh, I'm comfortable, people looking at me, I'll be fine. Um, and then there's, there's another layer where you do like single camera work where it's like, okay, there's a camera over here or right here or whatever, but it's one camera and my job is to ignore it. My job is to focus on the cookies because my right, character. Right, you can never look at it. Like, and, and then there's this, th that, that live. 
for before Cam yeah, where, where, where your solo cam is you, the tally light comes on and your camera too. That's your that's your camera. But it's not even like because we're not doing it live, so it's not even like the 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 red light comes on. It's more like right. the director says to you, "Hey Dan, if you, when you're gonna look at the camera, that's the that's your camera," and points at one of the cameras. And so the thing that freaks me out is. I go, okay, so I know it's not live. They're not editing in board. So that, like, it's sort of like, it puts it in my head that it's like, I have control over whether the, it cuts to me. And so then I, I'm like, well, I'm never gonna make the decision f for it to cut to me. So then I'm like yeah, staring at Yeah, that's how I table. feel. It's just a weird thing. To, it's, it doesn't matter how talented a performer or how comfortable in your own skin you might be. It's a totally different talent, I think, section. The idea that not, not, oh, yeah, not being one, thrown by this like, idea of like, like on whose line? There's tally lights where the the, the red light comes on. They, they're, they're just doing it like in a fake, like live edit, and then they, they, they seven or eight cameras are all rolling at the same time, so they're they're all good to go. No matter where you're looking, that camera is is rolling. But on, on Harmon Quest, there's no tally light. The light the red light doesn't come on and says this is the one that's on you right now. But you can take a camera take to any camera at any time, yeah. and that can be in the edit. Yeah. You can also get the fuck out of there the same way. So if you know that a camera's covering you that you don't particularly agree with the take on, you can throw the take. Thus, like, rendering the camera that's on you, like, this take is going to suck because I fucked up the line straight to camera. Yeah, yeah, but all this, this is showmanship you guys are talking about. You guys are, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the membrane I'm talking about. I'm like, Spencer and I are over here on this side of, like, our top, the top of our game is like, I'm the world's most comfortable nerd. Like, I, I'm no longer going to vomit by being in front of people or even a camera. But then on the other side of that line is, is just like, oh, while you're playing make believesies, you're also like, boy, Karen's hogging the spotlight tonight. Like, like just sort of like, you're, there's like calculations going on. And, you know, I was never good at like the long form improv because I, I, I was just a bad listener. <laughs> I'd just be like, why? I just sort of start thinking about it. like, oh, I should, I should come in as a crab or something, and like, like, then I'm like, I'm writing a crab thing in my head that the other people are gonna fuck up when I come in, because uh, it's improv, you moron. And uh, and the and for the 30 seconds that I'm sitting there going like, oh, and the crab's gonna come in, and it's this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> like there, there's things I'm supposed to be listening yeah, to. Yeah, for me, like Harmon Quest, I, I, I'm a, I take it like copious notes and I'm writing things down because I want to remember the name of the thing that Spencer said, the name of the oh, town. Oh, yeah. The all name. the names. But then <laughs> while you're... Spencer's laying down all this detail and I'm writing that down but while it's happening something improv is happening and I'm not listening to that. So I've got the detail but not the, the moment that just happened. And yeah. so it's a hard uh, line to walk. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> well, let's, let's refine some of our chops tonight. We could do some drills. All right. All right. Um, wh why don't we just play some uh, good old-fashioned D&D with Spencer right now? Oh, shit. Okay. Is, that what, is, is that what you meant, Dan? The audience you... wasn't that enthused. <laughs> no, no, I, no, 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 no. Oh, God. I didn't mean like that. And I the mean, crowd goes I'm trying to get to know you guys. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what did you mean precisely, Dan? I was, I was just... High he wanted to sit. Goes, get it, I was just going like, well, let's do some dumb improv bits. But All right, well, no, let, let's do dumb improv, but uh, let's walk the line between thinking ahead and being in the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna, not going to, uh, I'm only going to be in the moment. Be, oh, you're only in the moment. You're not going to think about the crab character that's going to come in later on. <laughs> right. All right. So, so Sp Spencer, like, uh, be Dungeon Master for us and give us, like, like lay a... Lay a like a scene on us. All right. Uh, uh, can I get a suggestion? A You're on a spaceship. <laughs> okay. Snip, snip. I'm a crab. No. Ah. I hope no one's to the left. The direction I move. Well. <laughs> Captain uh, Friend Tester, uh, why did you leave? let your crab out of the tank. You know that it's against Academy regulations to leave uh, wild animals uh, on the spaceship. The Academy had it their way. This ship would be made of regulations. <laughs> as far as whether Herman is allowed to roam the cabin, I think he's been on a few more missions than you, Nurse Falco. <laughs> Uh, 
But away he goes. <sighs> oh, damn. <laughs> Crab alert. <laughs> Crab alert. <laughs> Crab alert. There's a crab alert installed on the uh, ship. Destroying uh, crab. No! No! <laughs> no! Herman destroyed. You don't remember last week when you asked me to put in that crab software? Because you told me uh, you need all these lasers and some of these drinks to be poured on crabs. Marcus, what are you... Are you... Uh, I'm, I'm talking to you over the uh, telescreen, right? <laughs> You uh, just keep, aye, Captain. I. You, you, you're you're down in the in the mechanic bay. <laughs> That's where I smoke weed. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can do just about anything with those uh, computer tools, can't you, Marcus? Oh man, dental hygiene, air conditioning. <laughs> I can tune up a cat. <laughs> anyway, going back to what you were doing, I, I just wanted to know: was it successful? Was my crab thing like invention? Was it good? Do you like it? Yes, it killed my crab. Awesome. <laughs> All I'm right. distraught. I better, uh, I'm going to come down and see you, Marcus. Oh, man. I got to clean this place up first. Okay. Hey, Nurse please, Falco. come down, Captain, please. Over and out. Nurse Falco. Yes? Uh, I'm going to find it hard to believe you didn't know that was going to happen. I'd be lying if I said I didn't. I tend to know exactly what's going on aboard the ship. That is my job as the spaceship nurse. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, I have a, uh, a little bit of a, a scrape on one of my fingers. Okay. Uh, Let me attend to that. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. It's my middle one. Your I'm middle holding finger. up my middle one. Uh, are, you, are you being ironic, or are you, are you just telling me to fuck off? Or Man the helm, Falco. I'm going to talk to Marcus. Falco. Falco, pick up. Falco, it's Marcus. Pick up. Falco. Falco. Yes? Look, uh, Captain's on his way down, and uh, I'm not right. going to be able to see you tonight. Okay. So, um, look. Uh, Listen, as far as he's concerned, we've never met. We, we, don't, ever, we don't ever have anything going on. Okay. 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 I, I just. Uh, uh, you I was, was going to, you know, I was going to put the good shoes on, just so you know. All right. Okay. Shh. All right. I got I to gotta go. I'll, I'll call you back. What? Jesus, it smells like a skunk down here. <laughs> Boy, you can take the city out of the astronaut. Or wait, you can't. You can't. You can take the astronaut, astronaut out of the city. That's what you can do. And what we did do. What we failed to realize we could never do was remove the city from your bones. You urban, magical... Whoa. Look... <laughs> Just sit down, man. All right. I'm glad you're here, Captain. You know, I don't really get a lot of time, to, you know, chance to spend with the higher up. So I'm glad you came down. Yeah. Did I offend you? No, like, no, no, no. You want a couple noodles? Uh, well, tell you the truth, wouldn't mind a little of that sticky wicky that I'm <laughs> smelling everywhere. I have no idea what you're talking about, officer, but it's right here. Uh, uh, <laughs> do you have to press the button five times or what? <laughs> You can shake it back and forth just to make the setting for yourself if you want. Right? <coughs> <coughs> Smells like Cheetos. Oh, fuck. I probably got too high. <laughs> That's a signal three. Uh, Captain Frantaster, we have, uh, we have an incoming message from your arch enemy, uh, Diablos. Uh, put the weapons on standby. Charge the shields. I'll be right up. Okay. Oh, fuck. Sh oh, shields fuck. charged. <laughs> oh, I can't see. Are you, is anyone there? Johnson, are they on? Oh, uh, yeah. wait. It's me, fuck. Diablos. Uh, <laughs> Surrender your spaceship. No. Yes. <laughs> Johnson, I can't see. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry, man. Uh, let, let, let me raise up the hailing shields. <laughs> no, no. What? No. Oh, God. What? So put those back down. Uh, okay. <laughs> you, wait, why can't you see? Those are shields. Yes, but, but you want to be able to see, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, okay, oh, uh, putting on vision uh, mode. What? 
Uh, vision mode enhanced. Would, Marcus, in, you have to be the captain. I'm too high. <laughs> where, where my hat? No, no. Just do it. Just do it. Or I'll, fire you. I'll tell everyone. <sighs> I'll tell everyone you got me high. Okay, okay, okay. Snark ass, snitch ass, snark. <laughs> All right, shields up. We need to get ready for evasive procedures. Captain. Uh, 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 Diablo, it is I. Captain? <laughs> what exactly do you want from us? Spaceship. What? I want it. Okay, hold on for a second. I got you. Hold on for a second. What do you say? He wants the spaceship. <laughs> you know, it's a whole thing. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 We're guys, in so, it. Sorry, I'm Nurse Falco. I, I, I think that we, should, we, we, we shouldn't put the shields up. We should put the, sh we put the shields back down, too. Like he just did. I think we should. Uh, there should be a shields down situation. Are they on when they're up or down? <laughs> I thought down. I think was shields, up. Yeah. Well, what? Shields down. You're the, uh, you're the captain, Marcus. God damn it! I Leave the shields halfway up, halfway down, so we can peer over them and see the enemy, Diablo. Do you think the vernacular of the shield technicians is more rooted in? the handheld shields being raised for infantry or the old Hagger the Horrible thing coming down over the, the, the head. I think it's like an engineering thing, like cuts the lights off. Or, or is it, does it come down like, in the, like up, up and down oh. together? Well, like, then why oh. would they? Yeah, well, they, they, what are they, the states of the shield that are available? Uh, we have we, shields we, up. We, we have weapon shields and we have vision shields that right. let you see through a, through a shield. The, it's, look, it, it's, it's not a perfect system. <laughs> It looks like their shields are down. I can see the button. Maybe we should just fire on them. Fire, Diablo! Shields fire. up! Oh, fuck. She oh, we're hit! God damn it, and I was looking at these Cheetos. All right, look, we've been hit under my leadership, which is some bullshit, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fucking the worst time to make me captain. I, I, Diablo, I, there are two ships. There are two ships. Oh, shit. That's right. And this one is injured. So, you will have our other ship. That sounds perfect. <laughs> now let us pass and get to safety. So we can tell you about that other ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do that. And then I'll monologue. Excellent. What I became Diablos 2,000 years ago <laughs> at the peaks of Mount Olympus. <laughs> on Earth. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> there I was. Oh, he's, oh, he's, <laughs> oh, he's in the background now. <laughs> he put himself in the background. Oh, he, yeah, <laughs> he, he became senior <laughs> engage from, from audio star runner. <laughs> Grab the baby, Captain. Look next to you. Oh, Red Bull. Oh, drink it. Okay. Drink the Red Bull, Captain. I just don't think. I mean, it's not like I'm. Captain, sleeping. drink the Red Bull. <laughs> Uh, it gives me heartburn. No, it'll, it'll make you come back. Okay. We need your sage leadership. I tried to lead the ship, but I was too high. You did great. You got rid of the uh, guy. What are you talking about? They blew I, the west wing off. They did? And I cried. <laughs> anyway, get back upstairs and show us why you're the captain. Captain. Okay. Then I went back in there and I said, I'd like my job back. Nurse Falco, I'm back from yes. the mechanic yes. bay. Diablos monologue completed. Uh, lower all shields. I knew it. Lower all shields. Captain, that puts us in a very vulnerable situation. Does it? Yes. That's, that's how ships work. All shields lowered. In your Diablos. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, we are quite vulnerable over here. Right. We have no other ship to give you. What? Why was I just monologuing all this time? Because you're a fool. Oh. A damned fool. No. No. You floated over to a section of space. What? Called the Fantabulon Zone. But that would mean if that I'm getting Fantabulous. If you thrust your engines, your entire ship will explode from the chain reaction from the uh, anti-dark matter. That no one tells Diablos how to fly. 
Noah! Boom. Oh. <laughs> it really happened. It Cap- actually happened. Captain Francaster, I can't believe that worked. Yeah, I... He, he, really, he really fell for that hook, line, and sinker. I mean, it kind of didn't work because I was bluffing. So my bluff failed miserably because it turns out he was actually in the antimatter space and, right. oh. and really blew up. I thought you knew that and that, that was your point. No, I was making it up. You couldn't <laughs> tell? Snap, snap, I'm a ghost. Oh, no, it's Diablos' ghost. Diablos' ghost! No, it's the crab, Marcus. <laughs> yes. That's I'm a, I'm a crab. Uh, I'm oh, a he came back though. as a crab. All right, that felt like a... yay! Everyone loves us. See, Dan, you you were very in the moment there. I kind of I list, I spent more time listening. Yeah. <laughs> than usual, I usually don't listen as much as I was. Cause cause you're what you're thinking about the the, the next ten seconds ahead. Yeah. 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 I tried not to do that this time. Happy? Yeah, very, very happy. We, we had a good time. I had a good time. <laughs> are, are, are you happy? There is nothing are, better are, are you, than are you, are you happy Spencer is back with us? Yeah, of Oh, course. yeah, everyone loves it. Uh, I, had right. to, I had to come back because you said you could do the show without me. So I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, explain yourself now. Was it, were you just busy? You said you were uh, bummed out at one point. Yeah, I've been depressed. I've been not feeling great. Uh, I also, I talked about this a little bit, but I have a hip thing. Um, this couch is great, actually, but it had been not great to sit for a long time and, you know, to drive and then sit and then drive and then also just it's all snowballs. I don't do things for one reason. I do them for 30. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I don't know. It was just, it was, yeah. It just, How are you uh, feeling now? Oh, yeah, I resigned to uh, my life. No, I'm kidding. Um, are, are you still in pain? Yeah, yeah. No, but this couch is actually really nice. <laughs> I think I'm going to get surgery. It'll be great. People love it. Oh, boy. I hope my leg doesn't fall out. I feel if I was sitting in that position, I would, my back would start to get sore. I, uh, my back could take it. It's doing a lot of work lately. You yep. know when your body's messed up, the rest of your body gets messed up trying to help. <laughs> Right. Brandon, do you have back pain or anything like that? No, not, not yet. That's great. Have you guys been to Lumbar in, in Silver Lake? Oh, yeah. Oh, Lumbar. Well, yeah. uh, you get, you get a, uh, I, I like the uh, synovial fluid um, teeny. It's great. It's a, yeah, it's, it's part of a new fad. It's like an uh, erg- ergonomic uh, cocktail culture. Right. Do you, uh, does it have things like anise root in it? And like, it's very healthy. It's sort of the, they're like mind drugs because they're all natural elixirs. Is that the sort of situation? No, it's just the furniture is designed by <laughs> like chiropractors, and then the, the drinks are normal pretty much. They, they have dumb names like, like uh, the uh, lum, lumbargarita. Yeah, I mean, it's just, nice. <laughs> the list goes on and on. <laughs> the uh, the Actually, a lot of their drinks are just named like S1, S2, S3, S4. <laughs> well, chiropractor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What the hell are they doing back there? I'm sure your chiropractors are different. All of them are voodoo people. Um, they, but the we, the weird thing is like, which wh- how much voodoo did they get from the latest chiropractor convention, where it's like high tech voodoo, and then how many of them are like DIY voodoo, and they're like, which, like you 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 mentioned a guy who was like, oh yeah, my parents used to go to a chiropractor who thought like he could tell if you had allergies or something, and what he did is he had a little pack like a suitcase lily thing that you open up. And it had all these little vials of, I think, uh, what do you call it? Like homeopathic water that was charged with essences or whatever the fuck. And so presumably these vials had allergens in them. And he would hold the allergen near you. And then he would do this with his fingers. Like you're, you're doing like a, a give me some change kind of hand sign with your fingers. And he would say that he was tracking um, the resistance on his fingers because when you would sweat, his hands would cause resistance in his hands. So if the, the allergen was, was close to you and you were allergic, it would make him sweat more, which meant you were allergic. This sounds like the first act of Wizard of Oz. Oh, it is. <laughs> and then the tornado came. All right. <laughs> I, it's it's all and, the, and the high tech stuff is just that except it's like plastic crap that they bought that's at a, a booth. Number, yeah. So it's like you they, like like my guy would like scan my back with a uh, a thing that was like basically like 
it looked like a handheld a barcode paper scanner. scanner. Yeah, and I was like, and you would hear, and he would like press a foot pedal, and a and a voice would go, <laughs> "Ass one, ass two, ass three. <laughs> and he was like like measuring, but and then he'd like do these, <laughs> but it's all it's all like <laughs> muscle <laughs> tension and and sweat and stuff, and like uh, you put your fingers in here. It's all uh, e meters. That's all, it's this is what Scientologists that use. That sounds dumb. That sounds dumb. It is dumb. Oh, yeah. It's incredibly I mean, dumb. I don't think it's real. I don't think it's accredited science or anything. You know, I think they're just like, hey, let's I put a bunch of wires in a box. Uh, if, like, I, I went, I, I absolutely screwed my back uh, playing terrible golf in Florida once, and I couldn't even lift up a pencil off the table without, like, like weeping in pain. And I went to uh, a cat that a church has gone to, and he, he just, like, instantly fixed me. Like, like he's a bad motherfucker. Yeah, I'll tell you what these guys are good at: relieving back pain. <laughs> well, they're they're, are, they're 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 bad at being content with that right. station. So, like physiotherapy, there are real things, and so I assume all chiropractors have like cobbled together collections of real and fake tools. They're just they're, they're just so sure, some of them sure, work. They're, they're like, God damn it! They're like. Uh, Siri, uh, how often does the average American want their back cracked? Uh, I'm looking that up. Uh, t- uh, six months to three years. God damn it! I'm gonna go broke in this motherfucker. Um, and then they so then they just have to they put up posters. It's like, uh, <laughs> wait, Siri, can you say S one, flu, S two, <laughs> flu season's coming, and remember. All immunodeficiencies originate in the spinal co- co- column. Like, there's a, you know, it's just like this whole culture. It's every everything that a chiropractor can possibly do that will that the AMA won't like find them for. Um, it, I don't. I know not of what I speak of how that works, but I don't know if it works like fines or if they just jump in your window. Like, like uh, <laughs> I remember the the, the Simpsons, the, Simpsons, the, yeah. the, uh, the chiropractor uh, guild, like coming over and <laughs> trashing his trash can, and then he <laughs> hit, hit, hits the garage door, uh, it closes, and then they like they because they're chiropractors, they bend <laughs> backwards and keep running out the garage. <laughs> so great, just peak Simpsons. Um, anyways, uh, boy, what a joyful, that's not like, like, like what a, what a great time to be in a writer's room. That must've been like, uh, this is like, 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 Oh, Homer, Homer has a dented trash can and it turns out to be like a chiropractic miracle. Like people are coming over to get their backs cracked. That's, a, that's such a crazy, like just episode. It's so what, satisfying. What, what season was that? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't really start watching the Simpsons until I moved to LA in, uh, syndication. I would watch The Simpsons and X Files back to back, uh, and then I found some navel lint the other day. What is this show? <laughs> well, I don't, no one's no one's waiting for me to bring out a parrot. <sighs> I've been doing a lot of composing in uh, poop song. Garage Band. Fucking poop song on Instagram. Yeah, really, your, your, really sat- well your Saturday done. Sunday pooping song was pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. Yeah, I just threw that one away. Uh, okay, Kenny Loggins, don't brag too much. <laughs> but I have like I have a couple of garage band uh, compositions that aren't they're, they're too soulful to be funny. So I just listen to them on a loop. Can we can we hear one? We yeah. should laugh at those. Yes. <laughs> we'll be the judge Dude, of whether or not. I, I live right near you. I can come over and do backup harmonies. And now stuff don't like make that? fun of me. I mean, I guess on one hand, it's like don't okay. Tell me how to the reason why I you. like doing music is because I'm not supposed to be good at it, so I can relax and just put myself into it. But I'm getting to a stage now where I'm going to get my feelings hurt if people make fun of me. That's like when Vin Diesel does his kind of like karaoke videos. It's like everyone's loving it, but we can't tell him what we think. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anything about that, but... Well, it's easy. He's a delight. Wait, say again? What? He... Vin Diesel, like, sings. A- and, he, and he's tender about his... Uh... He's loving it. Oh, he's loving it. He's loving it. But is he good or is he terrible? No, he's not. <laughs> But, but as far as he's concerned, he's rocking it out. Right. Well, that's, Who, who's that, going to tell him that? that? That's why I like karaoke. I, I, I go and right. do karaoke. I went it's to, a good thing. I went to a place in, uh, in Nashville, Tennessee with Chip Eston, and, and uh, it's called Santa's Pub. <laughs> and it's a uh, Christmas decorated double wide trailer. And as far as I remember, in the middle of fucking nowhere. It's and, like the and perfect it's, place to get a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> it's, be, it's beer only, and you cannot bring your drink up on stage. And there's a sign that says no swearing on stage, no cursing on stage. And after I sang my second or third song, I, uh, I believe I brought the house down. 
uh, or, or the trailer down. And, uh, and I went, I fucking love this place. And he goes, yo, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. No swearing on stage, man. And, and, but, but he wasn't being a jerk about it. It was the greatest place. It was, like, it was the most like, Tennessee shit I've ever seen. It's, it was so good. Okay, here's, here's one of my songs. Oh, yeah. Do, do, do we, got, we got mics on this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great strings. I rubbed the screen myself for the strings. A little bit of lunacy, but good. Mm. Sounds like somebody just scored an, another Alan Ball movie, huh? That's great. Well, it's good. It's great. It's great. Yeah, now, I, I'm not making fun of here. I, I, so are you playing keys on that? Like, are you actually putting down not the... Not in uh, real time, because like, I wouldn't know how to play, but I, uh, I like, yeah. no, there's, like, various apps that, that let you, like, uh, map out melodies in a... I, I, I found this really cool app that, Because like, you're playing uh, chordal stuff in there, too. Right. But there's a couple clams in there. There's a couple notes that it's go It's a, a combination of apps... Now why don't we, let's play it again and let's put some, let's put some words to that. Let's uh, let, let's, okay. let's, let's do, you, do you want to sing a song of that, Dan? Because you know you, you oh. know the movement, or do you want to do it, Brandon? No, 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 we're good. I, I wonder if there's should we should we pick from two? Because he's you know. Wait, but real quick, did one. you say oof in the beginning when that first like sour note happened? Because that sour note was part of my style. Yeah. <laughs> It was like a... Yeah, you're, you're, the, you're Tom Waits. The piano's been yeah. drinking. You're fucking was, out there. A, yeah. I, yeah. I, I like that sound. I, like, I, was, I, was, I was like, uh, it's like um, uh, a simple plan uh, score. All right. Do you have... Let's, uh, you want to hear one more? Like, one oh, more? the cat's in trouble. Oh, yeah. uh, how many more do you have? What? Oh, I have one more. It's... Let, let's hear both. And then I, th I think that now we start, we start putting the book to those, uh, to those musics. Okay. No lyrics for this one either, but yet, but okay, yeah, but here we go. This one's more delightful. This is like some Forrest Gump shit. Okay. Yeah. yeah! Baby ducks. Yeah. Um, uh, who knew? Who knew that's that you all, had all that joy inside of you? That's fucking, all That's all from scratch. It's fucking great. None of no, that but, is like, oh, you but, hit but this you button don't, and it gives you like a you thing. That's like all from scratch. Piano. How does the app work? Were you making chords? But you, and, just, you just you, you poke the screen at the spot where you want it. It's different from playing piano. You just you put a note in a grid. And then it gives you the, the little fill-in notes and the, uh, the passing no. notes. No. Don't say that. I don't know. I'm asking. No, he pushes well, no, all I, the buttons. I, I'm just saying, like, there's no on that. There's no. All those chords are. That's all from scratch. From that's that's all. That's you all you MIDI, did all that and a MIDI. Now let's yeah. go back to the first one because including that, that, the guitar. That, like I'm playing a MIDI. I'm playing an iPad guitar in the, there. The, the first one to me is, is the more. The first one to me is the more interesting musically one. Uh, like it's got that kind That's of That's my favorite one too. Yeah, it's got strings and it's got that weird kind of out there kind of quality. Yeah, and it's like it sounds a little like like maybe it would like the the second one is like it's going straight to like a aviation museums like uh, <laughs> tour video. <laughs> I mean that I, I, I flatter myself, <laughs> but but like like that it would be used professionally. But yes. I'm saying like it's not it's not a no nobody nobody. The B16 started, was nobody the started crying during the second the one, but during the first one, if you listen to it a bunch, and if you made it, I think you have to have made it. You, you All right, may, now, you now, have a now, now play the second one, but I want you to do voiceover at the aviation museum, 
even though I, you probably don't know a whole lot about aviation. Wait, oh, I, you want I, the, oh, I, I you want the second you... one played again with that? Uh, okay. Yeah. So, so right. like, like, like we're walking under the tour of the Vintage Aviation Museum, and this is the music, and then you're doing voiceover. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Whether you got here by car, boat, foot, or <laughs> our preferred mode of travel... <laughs> You just found a second home. For the next three hours, the blinking lights on the floor will lead you through a labyrinth of educational and sometimes amusing exhibits. <laughs> yeah! We love exhibits. Morgan Freeman, what are you doing here? <laughs> Our lawyers require us to tell you that there are no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> if you see a pilot with unfinished business, he's probably a, a rapist. <laughs> Exhibit one, Kitty Hawk, 1911. If you were getting pasta in Nebraska in 1911, you probably weren't thinking about Orville and Wilbur Wright. Even though their father was the pesto king of Nebraska, I think I said. Those two boys had their eyes on a, <laughs> whoa, a bigger prize. Hey, excuse me. Oh, oh is this a, a tour or a fossil? Proppy. G get out of here. I'm trying to give the tour. Uh, you need to blow away. Uh, I'll be back in exhibit three. Uh, Proppy, behave yourself. Hi, folks. We're going to take a different form of the tour. I'm changing the blinking lights to Proppy Color. <laughs> Don't follow the same old tour. You're going to follow mine. We're going to have fun. Pizza, rock and roll, aviation history. Pregnant women should follow the emergency exit <laughs> in an emergency along with non-pregnant women and men. Sorry, my wife is currently pregnant and I, at the time of recording this, by the time you're hearing it, my kid's probably eight years old. I'm not even part of the tour. I'm just the emergency exit speaker. <laughs> Exhibit two. <laughs> oh, Cloris, pass me that butter churn. No, <laughs> oh, Einstein, what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> More mathematics? <laughs> oh, it's a living. In the 1930s, 60s, Gravity was only on a few people's mind. Even though the planes that were working. You know what? Sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> Psst. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. Yeah? What's up? What, 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 wait. What, Come over here, man. What, what, I, I, I Come was, over here. I, I was sleeping over here. Touch this. <laughs> Touch this. I'm Amelia Earhart. Touch it. Touch my dick. Okay. You were warned. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Well, oh. Before you put it away, are we going to do that second thing? Well, it was the. Oh, yeah, the uh, second thing. We're, we're, we're going to play the first song. one. But that, but that one needs like some Leonard Cohen lyrics to it. That's got some, that's got some angular like soul to it. Yeah, I really feel like I could. Yeah, it, that you know. should be the album title. Angular Soul. Angular Soul. <laughs> <laughs> On Fantabulon <Yeah>. Records. <laughs> what well, you know? I don't. I don't know if I have the lyrical gumption. You're gonna make up lyrics for it? No, you're gonna. Do, uh, uh, I mean, we can all do it. But let me hear it through. Yeah, that word. That's what I want. I adjusted the velocity and some of the things like dun -dun, dun -dun, and you're laying it down, you know, because you're mad at your dad. 
All right, that, that, that's, that's the title of the song. I'm so mad at my dad. I'm so mad at my dad. I'm so mad at my dad. And I'm mad at my mom, too. And you uh, also have that entire pedal next to you. Oh, yeah. The robot voice. No. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't no, think... I, I, yeah, think, I, 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 think I, I can't do the heavy same. lifting. I can't... I, no, 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 I, no, no, let's, let's play it again. Now that I've yeah, heard yeah. it, let's... Because let's, let's, we're what, not familiar what, with what it. Right. it be you about? take a first pass? Yeah, like, what's, what's, what's it about, though? Like, what, wait. Let's listen to it. Like, do you the, want me to give you a suggestion and you're going to improvise like, lyrics? I don't want that. Yeah. No, I know. I have written down lyrics to your song. Whoa. Well, Why I don't, don't you I, just read them? Do you want me to give you a silly suggestion or like a like a? No, no. Like, tell me what you think that music like lends itself He's being to. Being mad as uh, dad, t- titularly, and I'll and I'll try my worst to uh, to make it good. All right. When I when I hear this song, I think about uh, <clears throat> concrete. Uh, uh, dead leaves. Uh, mm. Mm, mm, mm. He agrees. <laughs> so, so, it's so, official. So far, it's the, dry, the dry, the dry de- leave, uh, yeah. dry, dry leave lobby, lobby is here. <laughs> concrete and dead leaves <laughs> so far. Right? <laughs> so, to I was, me, it's I was like nervous. Thought I was gonna have to come up there. It's like someone angry who's like uh, on a on going on a tear, like someone who's going on a rant. This is the song. The song, yeah, because really? it's like it has this driving, like kind of bounciness to it. But then the discord, the notes and stuff, kind of like they imply you, like a, a anger. Spencer, I don't want to put you on the spot. Would you? Would you? Would you try singing one? Oh, okay. No, I mean I'll do some of it, but you guys have to help. No, I mean say like you, you, you're coming in with more like. With, oh yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm the master. Let's do it. So All we right. got concrete and dead leaves. Anything else, Harmon? Like, is it, what, what else does it, does it talk to you? Uh, you know, just down a little, oh. I think. Oh, we got a Rob Schraub in the house. It's good. This is good. No, yeah, I don't want to overlabor it. Let's uh, yeah, yeah. let's see what we got. Concrete and dead leaves. Oh, look, Spencer, why don't you why don't you drive? Okay. I can't take this anymore. My dad, he is killing me. Concrete, dry leaves. I can't break any of these. I will not do this chore. My dad will ask me no more. These damn leaves and my goddamn father. Leaves. Yeah. I don't know. Wow. That. See, you see how I had something for a little bit, and then if someone really took it, it would have just seemed like I was a real genius. Well, no. But I, then you started to see no, the wait, seams I, I, I was a saying bit. that Brandon and I should Brandon and I should have come in on a harmonic. No, no, no. On a harmonic kind of backup vocal. Kind I didn't of thing. mean that as a no. I just meant as like how good I did. No, you killed. You, you fucking. You, you destroyed it. It was fantastic. Oh yeah, no, everyone loves me. I heard the part where you you knew you were killing it, and then you had to wonder, like, oh, am I supposed to bring it into the station? Right. Like, like as far as like like, is it going to end soon? And then that yeah. that had to, that threw you. I certainly was done at a point, <laughs> and yet the music played. <laughs> Uh, wow, that was that was that was good. Oh, I never. I mean, that's 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 the magic of collaboration. Yeah, do you want to you want to try one down like the same song? But I'll, I'll give you a suggestion that, that like I'll like kind of give you a poetical uh, idea for you to sing to that melody. Okay. All right. Uh, make your cocktail. What are you drinking there? <laughs> uh, you get two guesses, audience. <laughs> I think it's kettle. All right, wine. so Dan, um, same melody. Uh, let's do. Um, I've been on the road a lot, and there's this uh, repetition that happens of going from hotel to hotel to theater to hotel to hotel to theater to hotel, and there's a moment of um, amnesia that happens, where you wake up, and your eyes are still closed, and you're not totally sure what room you're in. Are you at home? Are you on the road? And if you're on the road, what possibly, when you opened your eyes, would you see? 
Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's cool. I don't know what room I'm in I don't know what state I'm living in I want to do more improv on airplanes, hotels, theaters Theaters, hotels, airplanes, airplanes I just want my mommy back I just want my lover in me <laughs> These are the struggles on the road. Jeff. Uh, um, oh. You just miss me when I'm on the road because you want me inside you. Yeah. Uh, All right, Brandon, your turn. Oh, uh, brother. Dan, right. lay, lay, a, lay a, a title on, uh, on Brandon. Church, you want to do one too? You're a singer. Church loves you, <laughs> Nope. Uh, well, all right. You, yeah, you want a suggestion? You want an sure. area? Uh, uh, Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> you ready? People like that suggestion. Yeah. Mama comes down the stairs. She's stuck in her underwear Time to cook some turkey soon Turkey soon Turkey soon Turkey soon Grandpa dead At the foot of the table Gravy hot Not lumpy quite able Turkey soon Turkey soon Turkey soon Turkey soon soon Turkey soon Turkey soon 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 Turkey soon. Did Grandpa leave a foot at the table? He was Did dead. He, he was dead. dead. The... He was dead at the foot of the table. Oh, at the foot. I thought he left a foot. <laughs> I was like, well, did he die last year? And there's just... <laughs> I thought it was like a My foot. My Thanksgiving, not your Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey soon. Jeff uh, Davis, bring us home. We're all, we're all going gonna to go around the room and all of us are going to do one. That could be good. Right, I'll try one. Okay, Jeff. Uh, uh, I can't uh, follow turkey soon. <laughs> and yet you must. Yeah, I know. Uh, Spencer, give Jeff a yeah, suggestion. Yeah. Spencer, you, you, you lay. Um, like if you go to the Google headquarters and stuff, they have like all these cafeterias that have private chefs, and it's just awesome. It's like a wonderland. Does that, is that something? <laughs> it's, oh, it's, it's something. Yeah. So, the so Google, Google, you know, Google, Google, like the office. Office. Google Office Catering Wonderland. Yeah. Over in Venice, and you know how the traffic is. In, oh, it's, this is an actual thing in Venice. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I've been there. I've had omelets. All right. Are you, do you go there to, wait, you just go to the Google <laughs> office to... Oh, yeah, best omelets in the house. <laughs> no, no, I had a friend who worked there, and uh, it's, like it's, it's, it's kind of like a clubhouse. They got uh, uh, surfboards. The Google, uh, I went to speak at Google, and they told me a story about somebody that had been uh, this just sort of living there for that a while. That was me. And, yeah. <laughs> they got sleep pods uh, and healthy snacks. Okay, Jeff, are you ready for your song? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I mean, also, let me know if you want, like, a metronome so that you can take advantage of that wasted real estate in the beginning of the song. No, Everyone no, I, has I'm going to gonna, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right. dive right in on this All one. right, here we go. Oh, uh, one, two, one, two. I, I can't count it off because I don't know the tempo. Just, just start. <laughs> just start. <laughs> oh, one, two. Oh, one, two, three, five. Boom, <laughs> boom, Okay. Yeah, we've, uh, we've heard it enough. Here we go. We've heard it enough. What am I going to get an omelet? I'm hungry and still yet I don't know why my thirst is still wet I'm gonna download tasty treats Google style I want a gigabyte of sandwiches to make me smile 
Right inside my office, I want something. Something. Farm to table, no. Farm. Farm. <laughs> to Orphis. <laughs> Almond butter. <laughs> All right. A little bit of Jeff Bowie in this motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Church, get up here and do one. You come yeah, on. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. That was. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. It's hard to argue with that logic. It's really scary because you got to destroy yourself like right into the. It's hard to sing. All right, now, now we do one, but the four of us we do like a like a boys to men kind of full on, like we. Like we yeah, we, 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 people are okay, saying. Okay, so the yeah, theme's like, got to be real simple so that we can yeah. pretty much know what we're doing. All oh, right, we'll have to look at each other's mouths. Yeah. yeah. But I, I would With say the Dan, lights on. Dan, what, what, like, you, you, you'd be like the lead OJ, and the rest of us would be like the other OJ. So you, you, you'd be the. Uh, oh, I, I see what's going on. <laughs> you, you, you'd be the Gladys Knight to our pips, whatever. Like we'll, we'll fill in on the on the side. I will do. Uh, I will do uh, sonic augmentation. I want to be the Yoko Ono. <laughs> oh no! Oh see yes. How that works? Right. I'll be the Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> This is gonna be good. Wait, but am I'll be I the like? So, wait, but You'll I thought, do all the hard work. No, 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 I thought we were kind of we like a group you. that kind of works together. Yeah, no, you know, we all work together. Like, no, no, I, I say we all we all help at the same okay, time. Okay, like it, like it's like it's like a Belle Biv DeVoe, like like you know somebody's got to do a little bit. We could do an. They don't just a, sing in unison B, the whole time. A B, A B, A B. That could be easier. Well, so no, we'll just I mean, throw to each I, other. I, I, I like I, I like the idea of you guys harmonizing and stuff. I mean, it's gonna be. I say we just. I just. Anybody wants to take the wheel, you take the wheel. Let's not, let's not, like, okay. let's not right. overconstruct <laughs> I'm overthinking <laughs> it. Okay, here and we go. And what's it about? What's it about? Oh, it's about... Uh, uh, from, let's, let's go oh. from the audience. Human man. Human man. Human I like man. that. Okay. Human what, what, what? Human man. Pyramid man. Shout out to Rob Schraub, Pyramid, pyramid man. man. Pyramid man. Oh, pyramid man. He was a reference from last uh, episode. Oh, yeah, pyramid man. Okay. Yeah, here pyramid. we go. I just want my pyramid. pyramid Phone to the mic. I just want my slaves to build He's from it. Cheops. I just want my pyramid. Pyramid man. I just need my slaves to build it. Took a million slaves to build the pyramid. Dogs on top. We gotta start over. Yeah. <laughs> It's, first, first of all, well, this I, is I put the phone away from the mic. Can we give you another? Again, mic? I can't do two things at once. Okay, new suggestion. New and then Brandon handed me a microphone. All right, Church, if you're not going to no, sing, no, no, Church, if you're not going to sing, give, <laughs> us, give us a uh, a title, like like some kind of Nick Cavey. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or Warren Ellisy. How about hot dog water, yeah. like a uh, limp biscuit. Really? Trigger word. Limp biscuit. Church, you got something or no? Hot dog water? I you know, I'm just trying Hot to help. Hot dog water. I'm Hot just trying water. to help. Hot dog water is a fucking... This is exactly Hot why I left. Hot dog water. Ooh. Gotta cook those dogs. Hot dog water. Full of nitrates and salt. Ooh. You guys are right. I mean, I, it, That's it, what you it, had. That's well, what you no, first did. But no, I, thought, I, like, Jeff, wait, I thought we were The methodology doing, I is the problem. Would, what was pitched to me was everybody was like doing a thing at the okay. same time. Otherwise, okay. why would I do a six? Subtly, what was okay. pitched let, to you was you doing all, all the work. Let's try to watch each other's mouths and actually harmonize on what Dan is singing. Dude, would, okay. would you okay. get here by bus? All right. <laughs> it was or your I idea. I, know, I, I mean, I, I thought that was more complicated. But let's, well, let's, let's, yeah, that's why we, do, we already did the other stuff. All right, okay. We've tried the easy stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, we need a new title. So you like... Australia? No, we, we, we did too much Australia. Capitalism. 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 Perfect. Okay. Nice. All right, so we're going to watch Dan and we're going to harmonize. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. The cutest thing ever. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Dollars and investment. There is nothing better Pants. than an un planned harmonization. <laughs> um, Pyramid so, man. So the problem is that the, the, the music, music is hard the music because right. we are comedians. Can we plug it in? Can I, plug I it can't into my blame thing the methodology. I don't know that that's going to help. <laughs> I pitched to an AB. Well, no, jump Brandon, and I jumped on Brandon's pitch of ABAB. I think that might have been a bit more 
I don't. We don't need to do notes to. right now. I, I, I think Dan was right, and I, I, I misunderstood him. I think it's better that we all try to really fucking. Isn't that what we just were trying to do? Yeah, but, but once we're all singing, we're louder than the music, and then we can't hear the tempo or the fucking root is. It's all over. The all map. right. Well, I can air. I can text you the uh, song. Oh wow. Oh hell, thank you. That'll fix hell, everything. Thank you. Thank it's, you, uh, hell. Well, there's probably no signal in here. We should just move on to well, the other thing that I have. No, we could do it. <laughs> oh, Look, it'll be white. It'll be Bluetooth, I Jeff think, so it should work. Davis. Well, I didn't airdrop it yet, oh, but I'll okay. try that next. I I just kind of I'm like a I'm like a Gen X pre airdrop baby. It's hard to use airdrop. It really doesn't work yeah, as it's like supposed mixed, to be. You know, it's like it doesn't always. It's not always there. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh. Brandon, what you drinking? I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking on them Nacoix. Oh, yeah. What flavor is that? Tangerine? All day. Hell, yeah. All day. I got, I got my airdrops on. Do you want to just text No, no, no. You know I that's got to essential you. oils. You didn't get the text. <laughs> there is supposed to be a... Oh, it, it, hasn't, it hasn't sent already. I'll, I'll try it. In the meantime, I can try airdrop, and there's no harm in that. Huh? Wow. All right. If you're just joining us, it's the best podcast ever. We can plug it in. We can plug it in with this thing that Zach dropped off, right? Yeah, or you can just give me your phone. I can just, I can, I can just plug it in. You got to stretch oh, you the could DI stretch the DI to Dan, or you could like uh, pass it. Is it an audio or is it a lightning? Because these are one of these lightning only. Yeah, if you need the adapter, you, you want the adapter, Dan? I don't know. We should cut this out of the podcast. <laughs> no, we leave it in. This stays. Okay. I just just a thought. Um, how's everyone doing? I'm doing good. I, I'm oh, fucking this... thirsty. I'm parched. I'm, I'm gonna go backstage and grab a water. Uh, I a am right. a thirsty fucker right now. Can you get me my half drink and Coke? You want a, you want a drink from oh, yeah, the half drink and Coke if it's still out there. I drank in half of it. When how- Spencer, when are, we gonna see, uh, uh, when are we gonna see the end of your process? Like, uh, how much longer do you have on Harmon Quest? What? Uh, oh, uh, 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 we're, we got two episodes left to cut, and then okay. animation happens. I expect it by the end of the year. I don't awesome. know if we have a date or anything, but it should be before the next year. I know that they are all your favorite children. Do you have any favorite episodes? Um, right. I, we just cut episode eight that had Jess McKenna from Off Book oh, the Musical podcast. She's super um, funny. She's so good. She was a lawyer. We wanted to have an episode that was kind of like the episode, thank you so much, where Matt Gorley came on our podcast and was the skeleton Gary, the lawyer. But uh, we couldn't get him for that episode, so we had a different court uh, case episode, and I was really worried because if you guys listen to the podcast, Matt Gorley really killed that episode, and he really nailed Can it. I just throw in, is he from Orange is the New Black? Matt, Matt Gorley? Gorley? Uh-huh. No, he's from UCB. Awesome. I don't know exactly what he's That's from. That's perfect. Matt Gorley? He's a, yeah. But he, was, he played Skeleton Gary, and he did an awesome job on, this, on, on Harmontown, the, the podcast, and so we wanted to recreate that. And uh, then we couldn't get him booked for that episode because I think he was doing cool stuff. And uh, so we got Jess McKenna, and I was really worried because it's like, well, Matt Gorley did something unique unique that's unreplicatable. How could anyone else do this? And Jess did, if anything, like a way, a way better job. It was She just was a tour de force and knocked it out of the park. Holy shit, that one's great. They're all great, but that one yeah. is the one I just did. That's awesome. Fantastic. Oh, Ma- yeah. Ma- Matt Gurley is my friend from, uh, since seventh grade. Oh, oh sorry. Right. I interrupted uh, applause on what you're doing. No, no, please. Uh, yeah, Ma- Matt Gurley, be- uh, best buddy from seventh grade. Yeah, and we have him in episode one. He kicks the season off in style. And he was the end of uh, season two, right? In the end of season one. Season one, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's the best. A classic season. Matt Gurley, Matt Gurley uh, I walk around the house, and, I, and I, uh, Matt Gurley and I, because we went to high school together and junior high school together, I walk around talking like Matt Gurley. Like, I, I, I speak a certain Matt Gorley language where you just try to say the stupidest thing. But make uh, it, we need a demonstration before you lose your friendship. <laughs> I, 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 it's, hard, it's hard to do. But I, I just walk around and just think of names. Because if you, if, if you listen to Super Ego, any Super Ego fans out there? Or Pistol Shrimps. Yeah, Pistol Shrimps. God damn it. So he does funny. names. I'm He's, not going to try to do it. It's, it, it him and uh, Jeremy Carter and Mark, Mark McConville. Fucking absolutely hilarious. He's hanging out with Michelle Obama now. He's, he's never yeah, they, coming oh back. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's doing in, Conan, in Milwaukee, right? He's doing uh, Conan O'Brien's was, yeah. uh, Conan Needs a Friend, or what's it called? Yep, Conan Needs a Friend. Yeah. A co-production with Earwolf. It's not by Earwolf, it's a co-production. All right, are we st- do we need to? We yeah, do so need we're, to. We're doing this. We're going to fucking make this work. So what's okay, the methodology? I'm playing it, see if you need to get levels or something. I, yeah, Zach, I, can we get those up? Let's do a sound check on this so we can get this right. That's better. 
Um, a little more. What's the methodology? Are we going to just Can we get it in the monitor more? The I, I don't thing? know what's good for the house, but more in the monitor. I can't take this anymore. There we go. Yeah, what that's was good. This? Is that good in the what house? The Is that topic? good for you guys? All right. Human man. No, it was Pyramid Man. What was the suggestion? We're going to get a new one we're, because we're going to start afresh. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we got our levels right. We did our sound check, and now we're ready to go, and we're going to do a harm. We're going to. Are, 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 are we doing Brandon's idea of the ABAB kind of thing? Or are we. Well, whatever. Well, let's just agree on it, though. Meaning, like, so. Meaning like, like, like a, a who's line hoedown, do a, where okay. I do a thing, or right, he does let's a thing. Let's get that out of our system. <laughs> I would like to create what? something magical after that. Okay. Well, it. we don't have to. I just want to. No. Want a good process. That's I, all. Let's get. Let's do this thing. Okay. It'll help us demystify the, so I, the, go, the audio. Blah 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 a. Blah 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 b. Blah 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 a. I okay. think we blah, just blah, point blah, blah, probably blah, when we're B. done. Okay. All right. So that, uh, okay. All right. Here we go. Easy peasy. We'll set each other up beautifully. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. We need, we need a suggestion. Suggestion. Oh. Self care. Self care. What was yours, madam? <laughs> Self-care and BDSM, I heard. <laughs> BDSM? So that's what Basically I heard. the same thing. <laughs> the bondage, domination, yeah, yeah, fatal that's the, that's the acronym. Right. Initialism. <laughs> okay, you ready? Uh-huh. Start again, because I, I want to start right off the bat. Can I give you a... a let me give you a little count-in. Uh, just, just, just start it, and I'll go. <laughs> give the count-in. Right, well, but, you but you won't know when I'm starting it. it. Here, maybe if there's a metronome, let me just give you a little count in. You know I had to do it to him. <laughs> that is to say, give him a so count Dan, in. Dan, you got to rhyme me. Thanks, Brandon. And Spencer, you got to rhyme Brandon. Yeah. And then, and then we're going to keep going like round robin here, We'll right? just try and see what, then we'll okay. get it out of our system, yeah. Okay. I don't know if you'll get a count in. Right, no, it's just sorry. <laughs> yeah, Strapped you, in. There's just no count in, sorry. Just start it. <laughs> I... I've, I've heard it 40 times now. I, I'm a professional musician. <laughs> the comedic timing. <laughs> Just start the fucker over. I love the... Um, oh, metronomes sound great, though, huh? That was really funny, though. That was so okay. good. <laughs> that was like a Smothers Brothers bit. Yeah, for yes. sure. <laughs> but I really meant it. I mean, I, I know, was. I, I am I'm, a Smother. I'm, I'm certain of it. Uh, I'm a Smother. Hilarious. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Jeff, are you ready? I am. Uh, One, a two. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm holding it up to the mic, but it's plugged into the box. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. You did okay. that last time, too. All right. Here we okay, go. Here, we go. here we go. And... Strapped in latex, upside down. It's the best thing I can do for myself. This ain't no circus. Where are the clowns? I'm just a dominatrix, dark elf, (laughs) casting spells on you. Hope they make you feel so good. Discount on Elmer's glue. I'll inflict the pain that I should. (laughs) B to the D to the S to the M, self-care. Hurt myself and it ain't fair. Follicles, 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 make hair. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Follicles. All right. All right. All right. That was the. That was the. What we just did was the like the <laughs> the Leonard Cohen version of, of "Whose Lines I Was Drinking" song. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. But All right. Now we worked it but out. Now we're warmed up. Right. Now we're fucking warmed up, and now we're gonna do, take the full Nesty plunge into the deep end <laughs> of the musical. And I pool. want us to sound like Belle Biv DeVoe. Yeah. Okay. We what's are that, using a, a track that is not reminiscent of the famous B B B D D D. It shouldn't matter. I mean, we've had what? we've had thirty more years than them to think about this. God damn it! Or well, we have. I mean, what's that? What's He's that Bob Devoe song where it's like where it's just acapella and they're just like the whole time they're like. Well, I do think of it if I swear I could care, cause I don't hold it all that It's not gonna sound familiar. Me doing it. Are you thinking of Boys to Men? Uh, the Boys to Men. Yeah. Oh. Like, 
Like, what, what's, that? Uh, what's the song? Uh, how's it going? Um, God damn it. It's I ain't helping nobody. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, End of the road is what you're thinking? What? Now we've come what's to the, the end the, of the road. I will be sure. Something of the friend. Yeah, something about a friend. Yeah. So, uh, that's actually... A friend. That, that, that is a friend that, for yesterday. That, what, that is for yesterday. That, that, is, that is shy. It's shy. what? That's shy. It's all for one. It's, wait, all wait. For one. It's, it's, oh. Right. Is that... Wait, you're saying that's not Belle Bibbo or Boys to Men? So we're, we're <laughs> as racist as I thought I was. <laughs> On the first leg of this track, I fucking finished photo finish with all of my honky it's homies. It's so all right. hard to say goodbye <laughs> to is, yesterday. Sh- that, that's, shy? That's, I don't even no, remember Bell that Bell Bell name. <laughs> that's Bell Bell I'm doing Bell Bell But really, that's somebody before did Bell Boys Bell Bell. to Men do You Are Not Alone at all? I don't think they made that song, but did they do a version of it? Let's do Oak Ridge Boys. Nope, guess not. <laughs> Just play a little penis, play a little penis, put a lemonade on the camel's back. I'm rocking and rolling, put another straw. Incredible Hulk and a laugher jack. <laughs> play the music. Play the music. All right. So are we do what are we what, we're doing? We're going to fucking We're going to we're going to we're going to bell bivet or we're going to uh we're Elvira. Gonna, Elvira. Oh yeah, Oak Ridge Boys. Oak Ridge Just, Boys. We're gonna, we're gonna. Sh- I'm we're from gonna, Missouri. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> okay. sound like that band that I never heard of. Shy. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. What they do in that song. Okay. But to this music. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm keep holding it up to the microphone. And uh, uh, yeah, and we're gonna and we're improvising. Okay. It. Okay. So new, new suggestion. Brandon. <laughs> Well, yeah, what? Oh, new, yeah. The new, oh, a new topic. The a new, best like, no, not a topic, a title. A title of a song that you. Reject dildos. Factory mm. re- reject dildos. Uh, no. Let's get that's uh We're well, close, we're about, close. Look, right, it's, like, it's too, because it's going to be, this, factory? Is about, this is about harmony, so who cares about a suggestion? Okay, no. factory we just, dildos. Thank you, madam, for we'll, having we'll the courage to, to yell that work. out in a, in a public place. Yes, yeah, it's fine. Thank you. It's, uh, okay, here we go. All right. Factory. Reject. But don't let me get more than three syllables out before you guys no, no, we're fucking, fucking come be all, in we're and be all do over your you. thing. It's, yeah, we're going to be on yeah, you. Like, I'm not hanging yeah. out here to drive. So I don't know what you guys are talking about musical styling. So if you were just to say like potato, what would that sound like translated through the sound? So I can hope to replicate just, just it along with like, Fellas, like, show them. R- R&B. Potato. Potato. Okay, I got you. You see how good we are. Yeah. Yeah, just, <laughs> I just want to. Yeah, I don't want to fuck up. We just all. Yes, like, it was like Bar- Barry Gordy is yeah. about to come out. Yeah, this all is right. going to be fucking big. No, we're this is good. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. What's here it we go. Factory reject dildos. Yeah. Oh, factory reject dildos. Pussy fast, pussy fuck my little ass. <laughs> Stick it in. Start deep. slow, then go fast, fast, fast. Factory reject. I'm getting erect. Stick it inside me. I don't know why somebody tried to hide me in your butthole, but I wanna come out again, then go back in, then go back out, and go back in again and again and again and again. And again. Okay, so yeah, we fucking did it. Right, yeah. well, we fucking did it. Very much like Bell Bib DeVoe. That could be a fucking record. Very much. God right damn it. After, Where's Jack uh, White? We need Jack White or <laughs> fucking uh, Rick Rubin. And you know that if Rick sh- Rubin were here right now, he'd fucking go. Imagine how many takes that shooting. shy group did to do that yeah. song. And then at the end of it, no one knows their name. No. <laughs> People that mistake them for Bell Biv DeVoe are mistaking them for Boys to Men. <laughs> I don't know. If, yeah, that's, that's obscure. Also, the fact that right now, because we're live streaming this, somebody's already taken this into a fucking like to AMI or fucking like Capitol Records and already stolen our song. But you know, yeah. I don't care because we can do this. We, we could do a hundred. No, I shit this stuff. Oh, wait, 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 Brandon's got the f- flavor right now. That song. The system is down. The system is down. The system is down. 
That, that was the song you were thinking of. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot we're the best podcasts of all podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I w- I've, I've been house hunting with uh, Cody, looking for a looking for an upgrade, taking my time. That's it. That's all there is to that. What, uh, what I went to another feature? house that makes you wear booties. Mm. But I kind of got over it this time. Is it time. like JPL? Like, you, like you, they were making a spaceship or something? Yeah, I know. Well, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I'm a, I was offended by it the well, first time, but this time I was like, whatever. Booties? I, it's just, you got I don't to get... bring your own booties, man. Here's the thing: like, You've so we've been what? house hunting before. You come, you can't just roll up with no booties at a house hunt. Here's the come thing: come on, man. What the fuck are you doing? Where do you think you go you in, bro? First house hunt. House no hunting. booties having, motherfucker. Yeah, you gotta fucking. You don't show up bootyless. You I feel like fucking, that's our next song. You gotta bring that booty. I'm going to tell you guys a couple things about about <laughs> open house booties. Um, they're filthy. They're oh, they're yeah. they're tattered. Um, That's you're, why you uh, got uh, to bring your own booties, Jackson. And forty percent of the house touring con- consumer uh, is going to put on those booties under fucking duress, shuffle around your already dirty ass house. Who you kidding? And like, by That's the way. You. By the way, Fucking I want to wow. see your backyard, bitch. What, what do I got to schedule my feet for? I'm trying to give you millions of dollars. Like, I want to flow around. Like, if I, also, that's part of the whole house experience. That's like, what you got if, to when bring. When I go your, into the living room. You got to bring your own booties. You got to bring them. No, it doesn't. You're not hearing me. <laughs> booties don't matter. They're called shoes. Your feet go where your heart goes or you're not buying a house. Like, I, like they, they had two baskets of booties at this place. But, uh, the front door and the back door. I went in the backyard it was oh it's a saltwater pool like oh god okay. i got the booties on i'm not gonna i'm not gonna well i walk out to see the pool to oh don't lest i forget the most important thing that you want to be on my mind is my feet and my booties so i can put them in the outgoing basket uh, I have my freedom uh, around the backyard collecting all kinds of AIDS grass and dog shit. Oh, oh no, a dirty, dirty human society feet. Oh, your backyard's all over my feet. Oh, and then you're supposed to go like, oh, oh I'm going to go, let's go back in and let's look at that laundry room again. Don't forget to scrub up for surgery. I, it, it, of course I did it wrong. I went all around the backyard in the booties. Everyone does that. Or I was going to say half of the people do that. And, and, and by the way, the other half of the people, uh, why are you so experienced at house hunting? Just buy a fucking house. <laughs> like, not, not the most valued customers. You know who you want coming to your open house? Someone who goes to so few open houses, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Because you know why? Because that motherfucker buys houses. <laughs> so he don't go to a lot of open ones. I want to know. He's too busy living in them and buying them. I want- yeah, so he ain't got no booty etiquette. <laughs> That's my favorite Sir Mix-a-Lot song. <laughs> You gotta put some papers down for that booty brown, that booty brown. <laughs> booty etiquette. I like what to put that? the tissue cover on my shoes. <laughs> what's the dopest thing you've seen in a house and what's the shittiest, like most low budget shit that you've seen somebody try to ask for? Uh, 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 I haven't, uh, I, I've just seen some like stuff where I, I thought, like we, we looked at a house today and I was like, this man is gay and Hispanic, and I, there was no photos or anything. I just like, I, and I, 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 like upper, like super upper class, like, like, like I was just like, it, 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 it's amazing how your house can express the amount of anxiety you're under, even while being like incredible. Like the, the, the expression of like floor space and like the work you've had done in your house and stuff. I don't know, I can't, but like, 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 like when you open the door and going straight back to a pool that has like a waterfall, like pouring, you know, like one of those like waterfall things. It's just sort of like, like, uh, uh, it just, it just screams Hispanic. Well, 
Well, no, that wasn't that. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I hit that hot button by 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 identifying people. I was what my point was that I was like conjuring this person in my head because I was like, the neighborhood that we're in is so stressful. If you, it's like it's like these beautiful houses, but then you're like on Hollywood Boulevard. So imagine going to work every day and like you, you like you're like 15 minutes. Yeah, like, oh, it takes me 15 minutes to get to Burbank or whatever, and then you like your first stop is Hollywood Boulevard, where you're just like it could be seven minutes before you can make a left turn. I just and then and then so then the houses that are in some of these places, you're like, oh, okay, so that's the, all that stress is manifesting itself. It's like popping like popcorn inside of here, and then I and then I project a few things like I I, I yes I went ethnic. Because I went, I was thinking like Catholic, and like I was just thinking like this person's exploding inside, and I wonder where they're moving to, and I don't want their house because I don't want to wear no booties. <laughs> Wait, this is a booty house? That wasn't actually a booty house. What's the? Uh, have you seen somebody who's been trying to patch up shit? Have you seen any houses where they're like clearly off asking for too much money, and they've duct taped like a jacuzzi to a back wall? Nah. No. No, are, are but, people out there fairly? Uh, are they being fair, or are they being like well, we just know. trying to get this money right now? Our favorite place is like has been on the market for hundreds of days, so we keep on going. Like, well, what, what, who got murdered there? Like, what's the, what's the ghost? You know, like, um, and yeah, but that's we, there's nothing apparent. My house, the, the last one, you bring inspectors in and they don't find anything, but then you still find out you're fucked. Uh, uh, termites and I mean inspectors can find that shit, but like, whatever. Why you? How close? How close are you to? Uh, are you tired yet? Are you like? No, this? I would look for a house forever because I'm like I like my I like the house I have now, but and I keep going like I no I'm counting on my fingers. I want to get mad at my house if I move into a house from when I'm in. I'm 46 years old. I, the next house I move into. It's not you know it's not like overwhelmingly possible I'm gonna die in it, but like. <laughs> If it's cool enough, like <laughs> maybe I could, like, like, and I, it, but I would like to get like mad at my house, like I would like to experience, like, what the fuck, where the fuck did I put the goddamn scissors? How many goddamn hallways are there in this goddamn? You know, I just want to feel a little bit of like over. Oh, I got too much house. Yeah, like a little too much house. Right. You, do you want rooms that you don't even use? They just like, like, just, I'm going to use them, you know? With VR being a thing. <laughs> you know? You're going to end up... That's a room right there. You know? Why don't you burn, just get... a, burn a room, everybody. And your next house needs an extra room. VR is coming, coming strong. Uh, now, by my count, because here, Cody and I, we, here's our dream. This is what we want. We want a master bedroom that uh, we're going to, it's going to be like a, it's just for us. Right. Uh, it's so, a, so far, this tracks. Yeah. But it's not our, our personal bedrooms. It's our hotel room where we spend all of our time as a couple. You know, we, we watch Netflix in there. We, we do everything that we're doing in our master, master bedroom right now. Right. But like, because Cody will now be moving in with me officially, like we want to, we want to weatherproof that that concept. So we'll we'll each have bedrooms that contain all our clothes, and I and it, and it has to have a bed because otherwise it's not a bedroom. Like 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 because the this ma the master bedroom has to be like a place that you're not necessarily you you don't necessarily have to be. And then, uh, Super but, dope to devote a part of your house to straight intimacy and togetherness is great. Because then if Cody's like, oh, what is there's a wrapper from your protein bar or whatever, I, like, I won't be like, oh, God damn it, mom. Like, it's like, because like, when you're staying in a hotel, it's easier to, to just feel like you're both on the same team. It's like, no, ne neither person is like, well, I'm going to work some shit out now. You know, it's like you're both... You're both in this space that's like designed for your comfort. If I had my way, I'd be like like Jackie Gleason and all the like the honeymooners that they all lived in penthouses in New York hotels where they were making the honeymoon honeymooners, and they just lived in hotels. And the whole top floor was their crib. And every day they go to work, they come back, sheets are clean, everything's good to go. I would love that, like just a hotel living because I'm never home. 
I have an apartment that I pay a fortune for, and I'm never there. Burglars. Is that right? Oh, goddamn. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Door- yeah, it's pretty fun. Back door is I... always unlocked. Just get, get right in it. When that guy like drove through my garage and my insurance company put me up in a hotel for a couple of weeks, it was like, yeah, it was fun. I got a t- taste of that life. Yeah. Like we left with a couple days available though. We were kind of like, okay, we can go home now. They fixed the garage. We we're, were like, should we just stay here? I guess it would be weird if we stayed here, but that's where we did the uh, the Rob Schraub uh, with Mike Ravello's, uh, you know. Photography song. And if I haul all of my bags up the stairs, I will bring them to you. And if you call, you call on my bag service, because I am bringing those bags to you. All right, all right, we're close. We had. Yeah. I'll take it. We'll, we'll get there. It'll be so crazy when we actually learn the words to these songs. It's the bag service. <laughs> it's the, we can't afford that shit. The, the bag <laughs> service. They're called bellhops. <laughs> Bellmen. Okay. Uh, well. Bag service. Look. Uh, global warming. I think it's a lie. <laughs> this is a terrible times we live in. We're... People are just too have I talked tired about my, have I talked about, to be to, to laugh. I, they're, they're like, ah, that might be true. <laughs> I, I, I I give up. Have I talked about my beefs about hotel rooms, little things that I stay in a lot of hotels? Have I talked about the toilet paper thing? No. Yeah, that you don't like the yeah. folding don't, the uh, don't fold little arrow. And now they got the thing where you go into the fucking tissue paper and they put a million things and make a big like like magnolia blossom. Like there's eleven tissues that you've just handled. After cleaning somebody else's poop, but I'm but, not going to use any of these. They're all just wasting them. I'm sure there's a difference that could be split, but if the alternative is that new role where you're in charge of unshucking the fucking, you know what I'm talking about, girls. Then you, then you take like, that off. You got to fucking claw that shit like and then a they cat. Got, have I talked about the fucking do not disturb thing that falls off? They, they, there's, most doors in hotels have this f- fucking smooth, curvilinear kind of thing, and you put the do not disturb on, because I don't want, I, I don't need the housekeeping to come. I, I'm th- if I'm there for two or three days, I don't need new towels, I'm fine. Like, I, I need one Disgusting. Or huh? <laughs> gross, you're a gross person. Disgusting. No, I'm... I'm Why don't t- you sleep in the street That's like fu- the other I'm trash? I'm fucking tidy. I'm tidy, and it's called being green, by the way. This is, it's, 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 it's called it's, being homeless. You're a fucking monster. <laughs> And you fucking put the do not disturb thing on so you don't have to waste anybody's time or energy and cleansers and water to wash the things and all the shit. And then you, you leave. Who has ever been like, all the hotel waters was making this drought? Oh, for real. Ho- hotels for real. waste tons of water. Okay. Oh, they yeah. They can't get enough. Yeah. They fucking love water. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you close, they thirsty. And you, and, and you close the door. <laughs> you, you put the fucking do not disturb thingy on the thing, which is a round little hole on, the, on a curvy thing handle. And you'd leave... And the door shuts, and it falls off every fucking time. Yeah, it really does. And then when you shut the door, it's like, is the do not disturb thing on the ground saying, please come in? Yep. You got to fucking check it. It fucking is. Like, just make a do not disturb thing that hangs on the goddamn door. Yeah, a lot of times they do, but like then the handle designs aren't like, oh, they aren't like, yeah, this is good. Also, um, t- fucking hotel TV remotes can go fuck themselves forever in a day. That's, they, they, they don't work. It's a travel hack that you could bring your own remote sometimes. Yeah, well, and then just use it your own remote, which is a weird so thing. If, if I know I'm going to a Marriott, I bring my Marriott remote? Or oh, the, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the fix. Yeah. I wish I could go back to that one city that had the vending machines that were all linked by a Tony Stark credit network. What yeah, was that called? Like, Do you remember was the Was it Denver? Where was that? It wasn't PayPal. It was like you, you could buy an account to an app. And you were just like subscribed to all vending machines in the city. You're like snack Tarzan. You could just walk around and vending machines would be like, Was hey, it pay range? You want some candy? Like, like you can have it. <laughs> like, no transaction necessary. Just like, it's on your tab. Was Fucking, it pay range? Uh, that sounds familiar. Because uh, there's this one uh, soda machine in Griffith Park that uses pay range. And it's, <laughs> oh, oh boy. Sometimes I'll drive out there just to get myself a nice Pepsi. Mm. It's a beautiful drive. I see a coyote. Just to get a Pepsi. I kick its ass. Also, 
There's a, there's a new culture in, in hotels, in my experience, is that everyone, you walk through and there's 11 valet guys, there's 11 bellmen, there's 11 uh, hotel like receptionists, there's 3,000 people standing by the elevator, and every one of them, every time you walk by, even if you just went past them a second ago, they all have to say good morning or good afternoon or hello to you. And it's like, can we just dispense with that? Like, I don't need to... Have to have to touch base with forty people every time I go this way or that way. These are my problems. I like it. Meanwhile, the world is on fire. <laughs> I think that all hotels, bars should be open um, from ever six a.m. to oh God, yeah. two a.m. Yeah, not in Tennessee. Tennessee, they don't even fuck. They, 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 they don't open until like. Like never on Sunday. Like you can't get you can't get a bloody drink. You're like going. You're selling me a, a bed. So if you're gonna have a bar in your place, then it would stand to reason that it shouldn't be like baker's hours. Like, like your bar should be like part of the like you're in the pillowcase business. You're in the toilet paper business. You touch the stuff that touches my butthole. Your bar <laughs> should be open. It should be the reason I don't go out in Denver tonight. I got a hotel yeah. c- to come back to, and I totally approve. Make it all fucking uh, uh, card only, swipey swipe. You know, no one's gonna come to your fucking hotel's bar to get drunk when they live in your city. Stop, uh, stop trying to make that b- business happen. It's like when you go to a Starbucks and they don't have a bathroom, and you're like, you sell something that makes people piss and shit. Have Just you lost? Just always your have one guy. Or lady, or it doesn't matter anything. And that was uh, very, that was very welcome. Thank you, yeah. thank you. You're welcome is what I should be saying. Why am I saying thank you? You're welcome. Look what I did. <laughs> Have a person who is there. Yeah. Like hotels are the darkest part of your life. They're trans transitory. I, 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 you wake up with a head wound. You don't know where you don't know you don't know where you're going. You don't know where you've been. You might have scabies the next day. Like you, you, you're, 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 you're only in a hotel because your life is like uh, it's moving. It's moving, baby. And like uh, the the bar, like it, the, every bar needs to be open. You need to be able to sidle up to it. It's like what, what, it's just a living wage. Give the one person a living wage for two shifts, what, it's, so that there's always a person there. Yes, it's true. Sometimes, for hours on end, no one will be there wanting to drink. That's what's cool about a bar: is when you get to it, it's empty, but it's already open, and there's just a creepy dude washing a glass, <laughs> and it's like the open bar, and you walk up to it. You become D- Dennis Wolfberg right now. I, I don't know if no one's gonna get that reference, but, you, but Google Dennis Wolfberg, or your YouTube room, rather. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Also, airports. Airports, your bar should be open 24 motherfucking hours a yeah, day. Aren't they in that. The v- Wait, aren't they in the VIPs? Huh? Aren't the VIP bars? No, no, oh, no usually. The no. VIP lounges. Yeah. J- Brandon... <laughs> Let me tell you what a VIP lounge you walk, is. You walked into a fucking bear trap here, Brandon. A VIP lounge is three Canadian flight attendants uh, <laughs> uh, uh, t- uh, asking you for eight forms of ID so that you can maybe have some pop-off vodka with your <laughs> olives uh, six hours from now when the fucking p- p- bar opens. And it's not a bar, it's a salad bar. And it's good. But VIP lounges can... No. Orally minister my privates. Okay, now, it, it, oh. can, can, can I get... Uh, can, uh, an I'll, amen. We'll, we'll get back to that. Can I get uh, an can, amen? Can, if, if, if any of you all... Here in the crowd, or anyone that listens to us uh, over the, uh, the, the the listener thingies, uh, if you ever fly out of Burbank and it's an early flight, I almost hate to tell you this. The only thing I like about Guy Fieri is that his fucking bar g- burp. <laughs> Sorry, I had my La, La Croix burp there. Lacroix, how do you say? Uh, sure. I, 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 is it, or is it Guy Fieri? Is, is he French? Oh, is it's he Guy Fieri. Okay. Or Fieri. Right, because it's Guy de Maupassant, but it's Guy, Guy, Guy Fieri. This one uh, is. Yeah. So the guys, there's both terminals and the two little tiny terminals at the, at the Burbank airport have guys. They're open at 7, and they fucking serve booze. 
and they have Fernet Branca, and if you get a uh, Bloody Mary, say no garnish, because if you get it with garnish, there's no alcohol in it, because there's 9,000 things inside it. <laughs> so that's what I, I will give to you, our Harmontown listeners. If you fly out of Burbank, go straight to Guy's, crack a dawn, it's open, and you can get fucking wasted. <laughs> And uh, I, I wouldn't eat the food because you're probably going to have popcorn and shrimp and someone's going to yell at you and have spiky blonde hair. That's great fun. So people don't understand uh, the point of a bar. If you watch The Shining... <laughs> when... Stop. Hear him out, everybody. Let the when, man talk. When, when, when Mr. Shining... Uh, J.L. Shining. Jack Torrance yes. go, 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 goes to uh, the bar, that's... That's the, the, and he has a conversation with the British guy, and then he's like, I don't know where they are. And the, and the British guy's like, but you've always been here, and you'll always be. It's like, that's the, it's, I always, when I watch that, I'm like, ah, I'm thirsty. Yeah. I know it's supposed to be creepy, but it's like, it's like yeah. that's the, you know, the bars are supposed to be, it's supposed to be about, uh, uh, it's like, uh, it's like a self imposed, uh, one of those things, uh, what do they call those things in the center of like a Puritan town where you put your hands and your head uh, stock? Yeah. It's like a, it's like a, yeah, it's like a self-imposed uh, uh, stock. Pillorying. Pillory. Yeah. Uh, or it's stock. Like, you, you, yeah. you go like, I'm going to, I'm, 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 I'm a, I'm a bad person. I'm in a dark place. I'm never going to be in a light place. Uh, and then you, you go to the bar and then you park it and then you, you like, you wind down the gears that that would otherwise, you know, who knows what they would do? Mm. We don't even know. Thank God for bars. There's none. <laughs> We're all doomed. I feel like uh, the rustic and you rustic and the old drawing room, like that's the bar from. No. From uh, we don't shut them out. Do we not shut them out? No, rustic is dumb. Okay. Damn. Uh, they yeah. got good wings though. <laughs> you guys have those wings? But I feel like those places are like, that is kind of the, the uh, creepy bar where you feel at home. Yeah. What's right? going on with this place next door? Are they going to be, they were open before the show. Are they going to be open after the show? I'm nice. sure they are. I, I, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's catching them open. when they're open. We've been trying to coordinate a thing where, I know, it was like there was a, is it, is it but do you know if they're going to be open? Oh, okay. God damn it. Just, Steve, Steve might know. Steve Levy might know. Why are you, why, why are you so happy? You're so, you're, just, you're, so, you're so happy that you're excited to... Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, but I, I, because I know in the past they've been trying to coordinate a thing where we all go over there afterwards or whatever. Yeah, because uh, yeah, now we're not drawing room adjacent anymore. Because there's no place to go over here. If, if anyone ever goes to Vegas and people talk shit about going to Vegas because it's, the, Vegas can be a nightmare... There's a, a little bar way off the strip called Champagne's Cafe. It used to be called Tony's Champagne's Cafe. I think it's just called Champagne's. And it's like the drawing room, and it's 24 hours a day, and it's always just chill, and it's fucking great. It's like, like you walk in there, you can go in there at 4 a.m., and, and it's just like there's eight people there. It's not ever crazy. I love it. <sighs> or the double down if you want to really get it on. The, uh, the Double Down, I've t tell the story about going in, you know the Double Down Saloon in Vegas? Anybody? W one person raised their hand. Yeah, it's... it's, it's, it's instead of clapping. It's, it's I like a, that it's choice. A, it's a 24-hour <laughs> it's, it's dive bar. I, I, I went in there one time like at like 3 or 4 a.m. by myself in, in a suit, sat down at the bar. I'm like, this is going to be a bummer. I've been here 100 times. It's always been fun. This is going to be the one night where it's going to like suck ass. It's graffiti and there's like punk rock music and it's, the men's room is really just terrible. It's like being like an like episode of like Locked Up Abroad. Uh, and a, a dude comes in, and a, he'd driven in a Bentley. He looked like Daniel Craig, but like a little heftier. And oh, Robert Kraft. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. And uh, he uh, comes in with a bunch of great-looking girls, puts a bunch of hundreds on the, on the bar, bag of, a, a sandwich bag of cocaine, a Ziploc bag of coke, and and just passes out. What? <laughs> he thought it was the police station. No, 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 no. He walked in. And he goes like, like it's, this is money for them. Here's all the coke. I'm gonna fucking take a little nappy time. <laughs> and he's like, boom. And he's wearing a fucking bitching suit. And out, outside he had a, like like a Bugatti or uh, Bentley, something awesome outside. And there's like with four or five just like screaming hot girls. And 
the bartender very casually just took the Coke and put it behind the bar, took the money. He's like, what would you like? And they <laughs> There's all There's a corking drinks. fee. And uh, <laughs> Exactly. And then there was only like maybe before they had all walked in, there was probably six other people at the bar. It's like kind of a, like a, a square uh, kind of horseshoe-shaped bar, and uh, if that makes sense. And uh, he, a, a few minutes later, poured all the drinks and then gave everybody a black cocktail napkin with a giant rail of Coke on it <laughs> and put it all out for everybody at the bar. <laughs> Me, that guy over there, that lady over there, all the girls. And like, I'm, I'm talking about like a golf pencil size rail of Coke. And it was for everybody. Yeah, and, I'm sure. And, and so the guy is just fucking fast asleep right next to me, and we have a good time. And he wakes up about like two hours later, and we're all having the time of our lives. And he goes, all right, all right, let's go back to my place then. And we all get into cars. Wait, you, now you're with the guy? He, he wakes you're with, up. You're, he, you're with Rip he, Van Winkle? He, 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 he needed his fucking Daniel Craig, uh, James Bond. You like inserted yourself into his memento no, movie. I was, I was simply sitting at the seat next to where he sat down, and this all played out. Then we went to his crib. Did you? Yeah, but that's the part that I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah you would. You... No, he invited everybody there. Yeah. Because there was like eight of us. And he goes like, all right, fucking, we're going back to my place. Fucking, let's have a good time. <laughs> and you're like. And well, he gets in his Bentley. That's when I realized he's driving like a like $400,000 car outside. He's, you had me at driving. Yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? He's the guy that was because asleep. He, he took a nap. He's too drunk to be awake. No, he was tired, Dan. He and was now he's tired. awake and now he's ready all to right, drive. So okay. now we all fuck off to his it's place. It's like a respawn. And it's like, it's like I don't know. <laughs> Like five or six minutes off the strip, we get into the place. It's a penthouse, and I'm not joking. This sounds like one of those Jeff Davis stories that people are going to say didn't happen. <laughs> oh, does it? Uh, he had an indoor pool and an outdoor pool on the roof of the goddamn building. His place was the entire roof of a building, and there was a full like like a pool the size of the stage, and then an outdoor pool. And we just fucking like did blow and drank and like f f like until noon. And I, I don't know his name. I I'd never. <laughs> Why didn't you ask? <laughs> I think I think he composed for Black Panther. No, that was not... I do. He was certainly wealthy. I, I, <laughs> and, and, but, but I'm saying like that's a good bar. The drawing room at 3 a.m. <laughs> the drawing room just. I, I went another time to the drawing room. Oh, not the drawing room. Uh, double down, I mean. The double down in Vegas. I went in there again, 3 a.m. You want, you, want, you want to let the bar marinate. Don't go there before midnight. Like, go, like go there after 2 o'clock, after the, bars are, uh, the bands are done. I went in there, sat alone. Again, this is not going to be fun. Like, 20 roller derby lesbians came in. And they were selling T-shirts, and they just were harassing me and mad at me. Because I was, like, a straight guy. And they were just talking shit and like just throwing ice cubes at me and whatever. This is in Nevada? Yeah, this is Las okay. Vegas. It's a town in Nevada. <laughs> and this, I don't know why. I, like, I'm a fed. <laughs> oh, wait, was this in Nevada? No. No. <laughs> this is a, it, it, I mean, he is snitching, though. <laughs> Sorry. No, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's important. Was it in Nevada? Yeah, yes. No, this is a, a bar. <laughs> All we have to do is track down a, a house with two pools in it and this motherfucker going to jail. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bar in Logan, Utah. No, it's a bar in uh, in between like the Hard Rock and, and the airport. Like you could walk to either. I we, thought it might have been drawing room because there's just like yeah, the double we, down. We lost there. Dino for for two days there once. We didn't lose him. We went somewhere <laughs> other than there, and when we came back, he was there. We we called up Dino like where, Dino, where are you? And he goes, I'm still here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm ugly. Oh. <laughs> and he was just he was crying at the bar because he was ugly. And he was like, guess but like you've been at a bar because for felt forty eight <laughs> hours. <laughs> So he felt it. He all wasn't these all these roller derby lesbians from whatever Vegas team, right? maybe they're from out of town, like uh, like there was a tournament, or whatever. I don't know how. I, I bought a T-shirt. Then we were friends. I woke up at like the fucking <laughs> Mandalay Bay, or where the where the fuck was I staying? In the Shark Tank. Oh God! I woke up at the Mandalay Bay, and they were all there. I, I I was covered in roller derby lesbians, just like like it was like, like like I was Hugh Hefner if Hugh Hefner was into not getting laid. I was there was just a bunch of drunk lesbians on top of me, and they got up in the morning. We all had breakfast together, and it was the fucking best time. Again, Double Down Saloon, best bar in the world. Why did we not put all of that in the song? <laughs> <laughs> I, I went into the fucking men's room one time, and there was. It was bad. I'll just start the story by saying, in the men's room, it was exceptionally unclean. 
And I use the ladies' room instead. And I come out, and a tough little, like, punk rock chick with, like, a wife beater on, like, half my height. She's like, you motherfucker, you don't get to fucking use the ladies' room. You got your own fucking ladies' room. And, and, and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. She's screaming at me. She wants to fucking punch me. And I said, hang on, hang on. And I open up the men's room, and there is a inch and a half of brown poop water on the floor. And she goes, oh, I'm so sorry. Can I buy you, can I buy you a drink? Aw. <laughs> she thought... She thought you were just like, I mean, just did take, she think take, your threshold was just not lo- high enough? Or, or, just, or just taking advantage of a, of a, like the women's rooms are normally nice. Yeah, like someone was in rooms. there and you just hopped into the women's room. Yeah, no, yeah, I know. I'm just kind of wondering like what just, her, uh, if you opened the door and it was like a regular men's room, which is also disgusting, if oh, yeah. she would have been like, like, no, that's the point. I know why you used the women's room and you're cheating, but because there was actual doo-doo, <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah, but that, yeah. but that, it's, that's sort of like a fascinating thing because it's kind of like, ugh, if we have any deal breakers, can we get some bathroom police in this place? I was sitting there playing pool, and the pool tables like are they have like sand traps and water hazards on them. They're the worst pool tables of all time. Um, they're the most lopsided pool tables of all time. And uh, I was playing with these two gals, friends of mine, and there was these big biker dudes at the bar, like like Hell's Angels looking guys, and there was four or five people like you know, like three girls, two guys, or vice versa. And they were sitting at a table, and about as far as I am from Spencer, which is, you know what, like 15 feet, tw- like 18 yeah, feet? Yeah, like 15. Um, there was a trash can, and they had a table with like 20 Corona empties on it. And they were just throwing them into the trash can and trying to bank them off the wall and make a bank shot. <laughs> and just bing! Like, this is all so loud. Just clang! And then some would miss, go all over the floor. And now there's just bottles everywhere. And the bouncer is a big tough guy. And all the bikers just keep looking over the shoulder, kind of rolling their eyes. And they're just throwing glass like, like across the room and missing half the time and making a ton of noise. And finally, one breaks. Aww. And the big old like gray bearded like you know, <laughs> D- Duck Dynasty looking bouncer. <laughs> the biker that's, whose, whose street name is... Uh, uh, caveman, <laughs> yeah. Or, or yeah, or duty. Socrates. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he 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 gets up and he just kind of <sighs> reluctantly walks over and he goes, "Your taxi's outside." Oh shit, Socrates! No, like not fuck you, you're thrown out. It's like oh. we called you a car, oh. and, and, and the people are like, oh. "Thank you, we've been throwing bottles for twenty minutes. That's very <laughs> nice of you." <laughs> <laughs> That bar, it's hard to get thrown out of the double down. <laughs> and just when they're about to throw you out, all you're going to do is double down. Yeah, there's a sign. There's a, there's, mo- there's a bunch of signs. One sign says, you, you puke, you clean. And that's, that's if you puke, you got to fucking, they give you the fucking mop and the rag and the thing, and you got to clean it up. But at the sign next to it, it says, $20 puke insurance. Which, if you think you're going to puke, or you think your friend's going to puke, oh. you can buy twenty dollar insurance, and if your friend pukes or you puke, the bar cleans. Do, does it? Does the price go up after the? If you didn't buy it before, no, it's you just, it's, it's it's like insurance on a oh. on, on a bet in blackjack. Well, then, in, but I'm saying if it's the same price after you puke, then it, insurance. No, 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 is no, if you've just tuned in, this is Shark Tank. <laughs> They should charge sixty bucks if you didn't buy it. Before I think you got. I think you can't buy it at the point. You just no, gotta no. clean it. In, insurance. No, it's it's it's. Uh, you puke. You clean is before you is if you didn't pay insurance. Twenty dollars buys you puke insurance. The bar will clean up after you. Before yeah, I, I know. Yeah, but what if you puke and then pay twenty dollars? Is that legal? Um, no, no. I think you have to clean. Right. Yeah, that's what I imagine. There used to be ass juice. Now, uh, ass juice. I'm yeah. sorry. What? Stop right there. Let's there just stop right there. There used to be ass juice. <laughs> I think. I th- there I th- used to be dreams in the sky. The ass juice. Pour me a cup of ass juice. I will not play the song. <laughs> play the song. Play the song. <laughs> Almost. Um, there were. Uh, they, they used to do a thing. <laughs> A- you didn't even I think, mean it. I think it used to be the bar mat, the little, the little bar mat. Whatever spilled in there, uh, you could, uh, for like whatever, I, I don't know if they've even charged you for it or you had to pay five bucks for it. They would just empty the bar mat into a glass and you drank that. Oh. But now I think it's they, with the, any bottle that gets below uh, a shot, like, a, like the dreg of any, any bottle, it could be vodka, whiskey, Kahlua, That's way you know, better. grenadine, whatever. They just marry it into this op- opaque bottle, so you have no idea what's in there. And they also have bacon That's martini. Fun. 
which is just bacon fat floating in vodka, which I think breaks five laws, uh, like, like from the FDA. I've had a couple of those. If you, you've had the bacon martini there. Yeah. I think if you do an, an ask you shot, a bacon martini, and eat a Slim Jim, you get a free T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. What a deal. But if you, you, have puke, just, you have just one for losing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but the t-shirt just says, like, it's not, it's the t-shirt definitely doesn't get you anything. I want a, I want like, a t-shirt. Even people who know what the t-shirt represents <laughs> are like. I think it said something like, I, I drank ass juice at the double. Yeah, table. like, I did the following three things. Uh, what, what are you doing? Yeah, I, I was playing pool with, uh, with these two gals in a, uh, they were, they were good looking and that, they're not great at pool. Neither am I, but I'm better than they were. And we were playing for drinks. <laughs> you shit talking. And then. <laughs> <laughs> you they, weren't, they weren't that good. I, I mean, I'm not that great either, but I was better, a little better than they were. So I'm beating them. <laughs> okay. And there's all these tough biker dudes at the bar, and they're the only two gals in the bar. And all these big, tough House Angels looking dudes are up there, like Mongols or whatever. And they, then. Uh, so I, I go to the bar to get a drink. And I say, and then so, so the, like the toughest looking dude there goes, hey man, what's the stakes over there? I said, the stakes are high. And he goes, what are you playing for? I go, if I win, I get a kiss. And he goes, win one for us. Oh. <laughs> like, oh. He, he was on my side. Oh. That was very nice. They're like Lost Boys. <laughs> so they're adorable. Let's all, let's all just get in a big bus and go there right now. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, Spencer, have you ever been there? Oh, yeah. When I was there, um, I ordered a drink, and then a girl came in and was like, whoa, what are you drinking? And I was like, well, that's a weird question. She was like, yeah, that is. And then I told her what I was drinking. I thought I could do a Jeff story. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. And then it. she said, thank you. <laughs> right? Is anybody, is, did anybody on my recommendation start watching Love After Lockup? Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm sure plenty of, plenty of people did, but not here I guess I, I listened back to my recommendation. I was like, what are you doing? You sound like a crackhead. Like, I, I guess I was just like extra stammery that night. Like, I don't know what, that, it wasn't really a sales pitch that, I, that, that should be successful. Tell me so. about it. I, I have no idea what It's just a about. great reality show. It's, it's people who uh, 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 are pen pals with prisoners, and then they, they're getting out, and they're going to marry them. And it's just, it's just insane, man. Does it, does it often work out, or what's, what's the what's the batting average on that? I, it's no, it's chaos. It's just chaos because even the people that work out, you're like, that's not working out. Like, like, and then the like so, most of the time, you're like, get out of there, girl, get out of there. And then like the girl will just get out of there. You just like you're just like get that Chiron, give me that, give me that Chiron that says that you are out of there, like that you didn't go back or you know. It's just, but it's like various combinations very interesting it's a very slim uh amount of people that actually like the population that goes to jail over and over again is something like three to five percent so you're watching something of like it is truly just a slice of life like you will not see that sort of relationship dynamic again the big headline of the show seems to be that even the sociopaths because you're like boy you're you're going to be knee deep in sociopaths on the show Really, on both sides of the of the prison yard, like the people who are going to to subscribe to lovers from prison, and et cetera. No wrong answers, no heroes, no villains. Uh, uh, but uh, you're, couple the, villains. You're you're you're. Yeah. Well, you're yeah. Depending on your definition of crime, I mean, because it's not a show about what they did to go in prison, but you're definitely watching them. Like, oh, okay, you're a bad bad yeah. boy. The dude that uh, shot up a house full of cocaine and then asked his girlfriend to put a knife in her vagina. Is a villain, but the, uh, <laughs> well, the interesting that was, that, thing that was strangely strangely specific. <laughs> the interesting thing is just there's a. Uh, uh, it's just it's just interesting to me that like like the big Next elephant episode. in the room on the show is okay like like none of the people, including the prisoners, who claim to understand that this happens all the time, but. They still feel this emotional attachment. It, it like, if people, no one in the show seems to understand that if you're in prison, your entire world is a different context, and that your your value system is different, and that therefore the people to whom you say I love you, uh, and let's make all these plans for the future. Like it, 
you're not necessarily a liar or a Superman. Like, you know, you, you're, what you are is a person who's, whose understanding of life is completely different from when you're going to get out. But they, so they just keep repeating. It's, it's sort of, it's just people over and over again. Well, think going, how, think uh, how important and how good or terrible your love letters would be if you had 24 hours a day for six years to think about writing a love letter to they somebody. They also very typically, they're doing, they all talk about how they, well, look, you, you, they, they, they do 10 of these at a time and they don't necessarily equate that with dis, disingenuity, the, uh, with dishonesty. Like it, it, the, the, the people on the outside are familiar with the idea. Well, I met this person on this site. So the idea that I was the only one is, is not, it's not a realistic expectation, but more importantly, Oh, th that was the courting process was winnowing it down allegedly to just you. But then the person will say in a talking head, well, I got two over here and one, it, it, it's like the, the interesting thing to me is just like picturing people as like vegetation. Like if you're, if you're a human and you're placed in prison and then you just, these roots come out, you know, these the, 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 these the, the cilia, these like little uh, hairs, and they're just gonna they're just looking for any kind of water because the and then these stories will end up with a lot of people going back into the joint because they'll violate their parole or something. And as soon as they get in there, they're calling again, and it's really hard for the codependent people on the way out because on on the outside because they just went through this whole reality show relationship where they finally figured out that the the oh that relationship was it but then as soon as they figure it out the person's back in prison and giving them exactly the sugar they need which is calling them collect and asking for money and, and it's like this uh it's siren call to them not because they love the person that much but because they love the minimization of risk that prison represents for them and I, I'm so fascinated by that, that they're outside and they're less free romantically. They, they, they're so scared of being hurt and left that they have, they, they, they at one yeah. point... They need barbed wire and walls. They, 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 they need barbed wires around the other person, not because they're sadists, but because they're that terrified of, of getting hurt. And it's like, oh, you're terrified. And everyone's like always scratching. They're like, oh, you're terrified of getting hurt, so you're with a convicted felon. Uh, but that's how terrified you can be of of rejection. If you went to prison, Dan, let's say you you were doing like a big federal stint, and uh, what what would your like role in prison be? Like, what clique would you run with? Like, like who? who you know, what, I'd be the fixer. The fixer? No, I'd be <laughs> a screaming lipstick man. Like, 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 we all know what we would be in prison. We're the 60% of the population that will never go to prison. Like, like we're terrified of the idea. We <laughs> celebrate in our jokes and comedy and movies how everyone on the inside is getting raped and the institution likes it that way. Um, and because we're all thinking, oh my God, that's th some of these, uh, there was a woman who got out and um, there's a, there's a scene where she, she just got married and she's like, I, she pulls up outside the prison that she was in and they're taking pictures of her flipping the prison off. And there's a guard out on the perimeter. And he's like, what are you doing? It's and she's like, fence. just taking pictures. <laughs> and he's like, don't get my face in it or something like that. Like it's sort of, sort of like the like prison equivalent of going, trying to shoot a movie inside a, a, a Brookstone. Uh, but it's like he's 500 yards away and he's like, just, uh, uh, just keep your camera. Uh, yeah. He said some bibble babble, and, and she's like, "What? I can't hear you." He goes, "I assume you're a con you're an ex felon, so take your pictures and get out of here." Like, like that. He's familiar with the fact that this road that he stands there and watches, basically, it's just a regular thing that a Camaro pulls up and a man and a woman get out with a six pack and pose, flipping off this place. So here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm watching that and going, honey, don't. Dude, uh, like, like I, 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 I wouldn't flip the place yeah. off. I, I wouldn't be shocked to find out through the mail a week later that I violated a finger law. Like, like I, I, be, and that's like, it's like the, 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 the way that we employ our penal system is simply to say, are you capable of fear? If so, fear this. And then we're all afraid. And then we have no respect for the people on the inside. 
and the people on the inside are treated like animals and whatever. Sorry, it's the end of the show. Uh, I, I, it's, a, it's a love after lockup. This time, watch it. <laughs> My recommendation was good this time. It was 20% more fluid. I'm telling you, watch one episode of season one of Love After Lockup and, and tell me that you didn't want to watch the, the second episode and I'll be fine. <laughs> then I'll accept that. My new favorite thing is uh, cause I got screwed on a flight uh, it, like <clears throat> two days ago. Yesterday? God, I'm so lost. Uh, we got like five hours of delays and stuff like that. Watching over the shoulder of whatever the, whatever the person next to you is watching on a plane. Um, Through without, the seats. With, without, without the sound on. And I, I, this lady next to me was watching some sort of like low-rent Game of Thrones stuff. It was good. <laughs> it was good. It's probably better without the sound. I just watching these people fucking fucking fight. It was great. Damn. So that's my recommendation. Watch the lady up next to you on the plane. Uh, it's called uh, low level fuck fucking fights. That's. <laughs> I always get sucked into that shit. Like I'll see some, somebody will be eight seats away and they'll be watching some piece of shit yeah. like. Uh, millennial slapstick that I like I saw a billboard for and I was like I'm not watching fucking bad dog uh, <laughs> like I don't care how many celebrities are the voice of the dog uh, and like and the, but then you you the the precisely for that reason that you're like it's definitely a movie you were never gonna see yeah you keep seeing scenes yeah. and you're like is Jason Sudeikis in that <laughs> <laughs> and you're like god damn it I can't and uh, because you're watching a movie in order you got nothing to do and then you're like well why is she doing aerobics is the dog evil and, and like you're, you're like what's waiting. The, what's the animated one where it's like kind of like Mexico? It's kind of Day of the Dead kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I watched that over uh, like on the seat next to me, with with no sound on. The, the person next to me watching that. It fucking I I, I the story. Did you cry? Could, yeah, this, this, the, the story is great. I knew exactly what was going on, and I didn't need to hear the words. It was like it was like a beautiful silent like uh, tragedy comedy. It was it was it was gorgeous. You have always told me that you like your Mexicans to shut up. That's the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> What's Spanish for cliffhanger? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I made myself very clear when I earlier alluded to, oh, you know, it was fun in a house I could tell someone was gay and Hispanic. What was I, I, I'm still like going over that going, what, what did you mean? <laughs> it, it, wasn't, it wasn't what you think. Yeah. And I was trying to think of who, like, who's the funniest gay Hispanic I know to say, but then it's like, I, I, like then I'm helping. I think my, my, my story was me being like this Angela Lansbury and like feeling like I felt like I knew the right. person. Yeah, yeah. And that person was gay. And Latino. And Latino. Right. Because they had a waterfall? It's, it's, that's the thing. That's where I ran into trouble because then by the time <laughs> I stopped talking, I was like, oh boy, you just really, you really did a number on yourself. <laughs> Because all you did was say, I, knew a, I know a person by uh, something other than knowing them. Yeah. <laughs> Bad move, brother. Mm -hmm. What a dumb move. Fortunately, we're in the middle of a podcast civil war between the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the shit's going down. Bros. There's, some, there's, some, there's some crazy shit going down in the true crime community, I'll tell you that. True crime. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the epicenter. I kind of I don't want to I don't want yeah, no, no, I don't no. want to dip my tender paw no. into it. But. Wait, wait, wait. There's, there's, there's there's people beefing on true true crime podcast. There's just some shit that weren't that, there yeah. mergers last week. Murders. Like, didn't somebody get purchased for like two hundred thirty million? No, nah, I don't know about nothing about that. Okay. That somebody 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 in the somebody in the true crime community uh, posted a, a, an Instagram on International Women's Day that uh, that had this like crazy kind of just white text on black meme like that was just sort of like what I don't it, it, I don't want to editorialize any of it I just want to be objective and say like somebody posted like a it was just such a strange thing to post particularly at International Women's Day like like and then there were people that their luminaries our friends among them like going like hey uh this podcast network like is this really are you proud of this and then so then the that the person in particular got shit canned so it's just the age old now within the true crime community the same schism that's everywhere all the time which is on one side you got 
what the fuck, dude? It's called freedom of speech. It's called due process, all that stuff. And on the other side, you have what the fuck? It's called empathy. What the fuck is happening? And 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 never the twain shall meet, and everyone shall be unhappy and angry and interesting. But it's uh, where, where would I go to find this all play out? Anywhere? I don't know. I don't. It's, I, just, I just. Hey, I, you, you can't say it because you don't want to. You be could involved. probably Google well, I don't, true I, crime podcast uh, International Winter Women's Day and probably find something. Well, right. I just. I know. Well, here's the thing. I think that I've. I think what I. My my point is that I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want to get. In, I don't want to get involved as far as like 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 like. But it's that doesn't mean it's it's the it's the guy the sword and scale guy the Mike Mike uh, Mike Bidet. Reserve don't clap. <laughs> Reserve it. <laughs> it, so, 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 like, if you if that's what, if you want to go if you want to go look at what I'm talking about, I'm not like, oh, I don't want you to know about it. I'm like, I don't want to, right. I don't want to stir anything. Right. I don't want to, I don't want my presence to affect anything. Other than people to watch, locked or love it up. What, I want, I want everyone to watch that. So right. we'll talk what to if, people. What if, what about if shit got so wild between rival? True crime podcast that somebody killed somebody else in a true crime I, it's, podcast. It's absolutely going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 there's, there's That's the Harmontown guarantee. There's as many true crime podcasts as there are people. So somebody's going to get whacked. So and it's going to be soon. Yeah. Yeah. It's the last podcast on the left, I think. Last podcast on the left? Or whatever the fuck it's uh, called. Is it next week now that our, our English friends will be here? Is I that, think. I believe so. Which, I'm sorry. I, I, says I, yes. I've, mis, uh, I've miscued that before. But yeah, okay. So next week, Sarudi and Hannah from the uh, Red Handed Podcast are going to be here. Um, I'm, I'm actually a little nervous because I, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm starstruck and uh, I want to I do a good job. But So I'll, I'll be sober and uh, we'll talk about uh, – we'll, we'll just talk about true crime. I've got a couple cases – that I don't hear anybody covering enough. The, the case of the smashed garage. Yeah. The case of the you can drunken look this tree door in the dialer. Backyard. Uh, the case of the dying tree. So next week, next week, uh, those ladies will be here. And uh, until then, keep your hair on a dish <laughs> and keep your spoons from the help. Do you, do you, do you want to try one last go at the song? You want to you close it out with one last try? But let's do the other one, the fun one, the uh, the, the more uh, okay, yeah, the, the more poppy one. Okay. And 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 Dan, like you, you take it. I, I want you to make it about what you feel like the audience walks away from this show with. Okay. Just... Thank you for joining us here at the Harmon Town <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Are we ever going to play D&D again? <laughs> <laughs> Cliffhanger! <laughs> Zach, put a beat on. I'm, I'm not plugged in. Thank oh, you all shit, for coming tonight. In. Let's oh, give shit. it up for the return of Spencer Crittenden, everybody. Yeah. And the answer is yes, Spencer. We're going to play D&D soon. I miss it. That's what you said last time. How about Brandon Johnson? Thanks for having me, guys. Mic drop. How about the mic technique of your mayor, Dan Harmon? <laughs> Zach McKeever's got the beats on. I'm your comptroller, Jeff Davis. Drive fast, take chances. We love you all. We'll see you soon. Get any of that? It's a good show!